Hey guys, welcome to another uh, chapter of Dungeons and Dragons, or another session. Uh, my name is DM Toucan Star, and I'm joined by eight play or no seven players today. Uh, we have another <coughs> absence with Strudel Kitty. Hopefully, we get him in the campaign sooner or later. Uh, he's got some stuff going on with school and work, so maybe, maybe not. Um, all right, over to you, uh, Patat. Wait, why over to me? Never mind. Explain your character. Explain your character. <laughs> you're, you're on top of the list. So we're introducing our characters again? Yeah. Okay, my character is Baloney Crisis. He's a human bard. And that slideshow that she can put up, he spelled his last name wrong. Low-key upset. But um, he's just, I don't know. A stereotypical, stereotypical emo boy, I guess. Yeah, that's him. Moving over to uh, Vega. Greetings, Twitch. <laughs> Greetings, Twitch viewers. I am Doctor Vega Punk, aka the Beholder and Controller of Gavalt Zervin, the <clears throat> High Elf Wizard of this campaign. Currently stuck in the underworld. Backstory is unknown, but continue to watch to find out what kind of man he is. Awesome. He's not a good man. We're moving over to Decky, or uh, Loyal. We'll He's a good guy. Decky. He's a good guy, but okay. What's up, guys? Um, My character is Hideki. He is a tiefling warlock. Um, he is an edgelord, basically. And he... He's chill, yeah. Awesome. All right. Uh, Frash, you're up. My character is uh, Jang John. She's a half orc barbarian who just kind of wants to. Who kind of just wants to be a good person. She's pure and innocent. All right. Over to the troublemaker of the party, uh, Falu. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Wait. Why is he the? I'm just playing. I'm just playing. <laughs> okay. So I am Falu, and um, in this campaign I will be role playing as Mimi Dank, the barbarian dwarf. Uh, a, um, you see used to be a proud owner of a snow cave <laughs> and a beautiful wife in his former life. Now stuck in the underworld with these guys. All right, moving over to Sam. Um. Well, I'm Sam L13, and my character is a gnome ranger who sort of looks like a basically a miniature version of a dwarf because that's who he was brought up by. And the name's a bit weird, he's called Single Nugget basically because that's how much he was sold for. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. All right, to you, Slim. All right, it's your boy, Go Agent. And um, my character is um, Slim Tissue. Um, she's an elf ranger, um, currently stuck in the underworld, and um, her father is Slim Shidi. All right. And then we have a new person joining the party. I don't know for how long. <laughs> to be honest, uh, Don, he is a human male. He uh, looks kind of like a, a pirate-esque with no facial hair and nappy brown hair. And he's got like a raggedy hat. Uh, and then my dog bear is scared right now because there's thunder outside. So if I go offline, that's what happens. Be good, baby. Alright. Um, we join... Uh, our party in the map on the stream. Uh, they do not know it yet, but that's a little like layout of the area. Uh, they just got the or got through saving Dawn from uh, Knowles using uh, magic from I think Gavelt and I. I'm sorry, I'm blanking out on uh, magic who else got a hit. Magic missile, <clears throat> magic missile hit two yeah. of the. Dogged warriors or dog like warriors, whatever they were called. Yeah, the gnolls. One of them died. Oh, yeah, one of the gnolls died. The other one was pushed back by somebody or retreated. I'm not sure. 
Yeah, Don, they, almost uh... suffocated. Don almost suffocated in mud. <laughs> Don almost suffocated in mud. Slim shade, <laughs> Slimmy over there made a hut, and now all the characters are within this mud hut. It's a house. Large, like, it's, not a mud, it's not a mud house. It, it's not a mud yeah, hut. It's a house. Nat 20, you, he got a house. You, <laughs> he got a house. But, um, you know, that playing back a little bit, the characters landed on a beach, uh, like, uh, scenery. Made their way inside and figured out that it wasn't actually just a normal beach, as Gavelt had speculated to the party. Uh, and moving forward, they met skeletons, which they did not uh, confront at first. And then met Don, who ended up being a little more trouble than help, I feel like. But he did leave uh, some information to the, or did give some information to the group about the ways of uh, the blood pact the deal with death and getting through these trials. So we joined the party besides Baloney Crisis uh, in the hut and it's becoming morning time. I'm going to say that you guys got a long rest. Um, Gavelt and Slim, you guys took turns uh, on watch so I'm going to need each of you to roll me a perception check. Uh, you guys can decide who went first or, and who went last. But you stayed up for four hours and did your four hours of meditation, or whoever went first, and then whoever went second did the four hours of meditation, and then has been up since those four hours. Hey, uh, <clears throat> you uh, go first, go. Okay. Wait, which uh, oh, which oh. dice are we using? Uh, Miki, please. In uh, D and D uh, stream rolls. So we all have full health. Yes, you all have full health, and all spell slots are uh, returned. That really yeah. spells really help, Jang. <laughs> well, you have rage slots. On and that, what kind of? And, and yeah. we roll. We're rolling. We're rolling under what modifier? Perception. Perception. Anything like that? Or we just roll. Uh, you should wow. have. Let me see. What is? What is Gavelt? I'm just gonna roll. Remember, I'm go. Gonna you roll. have to explain your rolls. Wisdom, so I'll have your rolls. You should have a plus four in perception. Wait, I have to explain the rolls. No, you have to call it. Out. You have to call, you have to call out, out your rolls. Call out the uh, rolls. So you got I rolled, eight. A, call out I rolled an eight. I got a fourteen. I got okay. Yeah, I, I, uh, I rolled an eighteen actually. But hold okay. On, hold on. Sorry, my dog's a little scared of the thunder, so I had to put him up on my bed and cover him up. Baby Noogie. No, it's Bear. The biggest one. He's the biggest baby, too. Um, so, uh, Slim, nothing happens out of the ordinary. You just see everybody sleeping besides Dawn. He seems like he's making a map. Uh, as the night uh, continues, Gavelt uh, or you wake up Gavelt and you guys can role play that. Hey. Hey. Wait, actually, no, I'm be like, hey. Hey. And he opens up one eye and just just looks at her. It's your turn, boo. <laughs> Anything interesting? Uh, not that my eyes or perception could sense, but, uh, good luck out there. I've been getting, I'm beginning to miss the days when I used to have my power. Uh, Gavelt, with your role, uh, you do notice that Don is missing. See him just look at the, look at everybody else, see they're still there, which they probably are. See him, look back at her. Where's the human? <laughs> baloney uh, crisis? Well, not baloney crisis. He's just... 
Is Dawn a human? Yes, or Dawn he... is human. Is there, there, he's like the only human that they've been aware of this, this so far. So. Other than mm -hmm. Baloney Crisis, yes. Can or I yeah, Baloney Crisis isn't around. Can I make like a survival or perception check for footprints or something? Since it's like we're on a beach and maybe like footprints. Uh, Gavelt, you also with that perception check, you see outside that it is hard raining right now. God damn. And Mimi, Dan, <laughs> she's chilling under his rock. You, you cuck to me. You see Gavelt. Did you not see him go past you? Like he just, he just whispering. Did you not see him go past you? I'm sorry. I, I, I thought I was watching everything. Apparently not. See him just like, show me your head. What? Show me your hand. Your hand. Okay, but why? Uh, you, know you look at Slim's hand. It's the, it still says thirty four. Your hand says the same thing. You don't need to look at others. Yeah, you have the same number on your wrist. Okay. Okay, but you just it's just just for the sake of the scene. Just wanted her to show us. Just wanted her to see her hands, just in case something happened. See you, Gavo. Wait. What? So did did Baloney no, Crisis right? make the blood pact with us as well? No. 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 Okay, so her life is expendable. His life is. Anyway, you see, Gavo. We have to fight him. Should we wake up everyone? Oh my god. Think <laughs> <laughs> about Um <laughs> just face palm at that idea, sort of. He's just thinking about it. As you as you look around like wondering where he's at, you do see a little uh like parchment he left by his bed. A little what? Uh, like a parchment and you open it up and it's a map. And I'm bringing that up on the stream right now. <coughs> and I put it in D and D stream or D and D stream maps for you guys to look at. Okay. So that's the map. Don left. And there's no <laughs> note or anything. He just left that map. God damn. Wait, so Don didn't need to roll, like, a stealth roll or anything? Like, I just needed to roll Oh, uh, he did. Like, your perception yeah. check didn't catch him. Fuck. I mean, uh, okay. I mean, he already, like, oh. established that, that he ha he's gone. Gee, go look at this map. Orc pub's up. Orc pub's up. It's up? Okay. Anyway, you see Gabel wake everyone up now. <laughs> look at her. <laughs> I don't care if they all have attitudes. <laughs> so you wake everyone up? That's a question to go. <laughs> wakey, wakey! I like shake every single person and say, wakey, wakey! Since um, not a lot of people took damage last time, I'm still going to say you guys are at uh, full health. Gavelt, you meditated, so you got your spell slots back. Okay. And, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, everybody's good. Everybody's good. So did everybody wake up, of course? Um, you can roleplay it out to see who wants to get up. Okay, that's up to everybody else. <laughs> to respond to girl's character. <laughs> or if they uh, what up do I... Up. What does Jang have near her? Nothing, you're just, like, a, uh, just kind of, like, laying there. Oh, so I can... So, uh, Jang looks around her for stuff to throw and inevitably finds nothing. He just gets up anyway. She tries to find something to throw at Gavelt, but doesn't re isn't really able to. It was Slim that woke you up. I'm assuming, I'm not, assuming uh, this happened. Gavelt. It was Slim that was sent to throw. It was Slim, thank you. Oh, and I'm assuming Slim. it's I'm trying to throw something at Slim. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm assuming there's different rooms, too, so Gavelt's in a different room. Waiting. <laughs> All right. Uh, I guess everybody but Mimi Dank is uh, being w uh, woken up right now. 
Wait, why? Mimi to her side. Yeah, I go over. He's in the rock. Can I go over to uh, Mimi's rock and try to wake him up? Yes, you can. Yo, Mimi, get up. No. <laughs> can I roll an intimidation check? Like, you guys might want to, like, get everybody up to speed on why you're waking them up, too. Hideki uh, looks at the uh, swimmer and is like, why'd you wake us up? The useless, the useless man is gone. Don is missing. <laughs> Who? What about, what Don. about the rum? Who's that? You see, you, you see is the rum still there. here? You guys you check your go. inventory. All of you still have rum. Besides, We still have there. rum. Okay. The human. Uh, Don. I guess I'll get up then. Would you like it down? Oh, what is this ruckus all about? Don is gone. And as of right now, he must, as of right now, he is missing and he must be found. Who, who is Don again? Which one of you is Don? He looks around at everyone. Don was the drunk, the drunk human. Are you pulling a leg, Tiefling? Um... I don't actually think I know all your names, to be fair. Oh, well, I'm Mimi. I'm, I'm Jing. Okay. Hmm. Hey, Gavelt. Hmm. When you see Gavelt, I am Zervin. Gavelt, Zervin. Um, how do you say interesting? You see, <laughs> see Gavelt. We can continue these introductions later on as we combine as we combine to be a search party to search for Don. Yeah, you guys kind of get everybody together um, in the front room of the house, uh, Slim magically built together <laughs> out of uh, the terrain. And he left no no he, he did not leave any notes. He did not he did not leave any message. Hence nothing. Just. Slams the map on the table. This map. So we have no leads other than this map? Apparently. So far, for what I've observed, it seems to be some sort of dimensional map of our of our current area. Right here, here's where we are in this forest swamp-like area. Apparently, he's mapped up several different locations. So, when it okay, says go, so we want to go. We want to go to, to the goal. Uh, two people are talking at the same time. What? So, when it says go, we want to go to the goal. That's no. But the no, no, I agree with the um, orc here. So he says go, that's where we're supposed to go. Uh, think about looking at this. Towards the east, <clears throat> inside of the east cavern wall. Aren't you supposed to be the intelligent one? That's towards the eastern wall, but it appears to be surrounded by, it appears to be surrounded by some sort of red moat. I'm assuming that's a dangerous substance. It's probably lava. Good, good perception. There's definitely can make only supplies to get through that kind of place. Which is the supply area go. is up north. Which is the supply area go. is directly. Yes, we will go to go. But first stop to get supplies. We have There's weapons. No way he... We have not. But there could be food. <laughs> yeah, you guys are yeah. kind of hungry. Breakfast. Mm. Mm -hmm. So you can see what he said, food. So you can build some and grow a little to his embarrassment. <laughs> I agree. Food. <laughs> Look at him. I agree. Food. <laughs> food and perhaps better clothing. They're still in dang rags. <laughs> I'm fine with this. Uh, can Jang do a survival check to uh, look for some food? Um. Yeah. Oh. Go ahead. 
Oh my god, no. Alright. I shouldn't have even said anything, but I just rolled something for Don, and he fucking got a nat 20. I'm pissed. Right now. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, no. <clears throat> oh, no. Oh. <laughs> nat 1. So I, I, nat 1 on checking for food. You see Jang open the cabin door. Or not the cabin door, the, like, little hut uh, doorway that Slim. If he finds anything, don't eat it. She loses control of her strength and kind of, like, knocks down a whole wall of the little hut uh, Slim built. Oh. No! Nah. So now the rainwater is coming in and everything. How bad is it raining at it? it we like were going to leave it behind anyway, it like... don't worry. We were, we were about to leave anyway. See Gavelt. Slow down, Jay. <laughs> you see Gavelt. <clears throat> place the map somewhere, like, somewhere in his garments. Just place it somewhere in his garments. We're going to need this. Dry first, as possible. <laughs> says that. First, not one of the night going good so far. Anyway, we need to move quickly. North is that. We need to move quickly. North is that way. How do we know that you know where north is? There's a little See, compass about, look, on the map, but yeah, you, you guys will have to roll a survival <laughs> check to go the right way. Okay. Uh, Alright, so I guess everybody's rolling that, right? Or do I have to roll that? Uh, you can go ahead the and then if someone's suspicious of like your survival senses, they so we're just help. forgetting, forgetting about food. No, no, we'll get food along the. Okay, let let us roll first, and then you know we'll get the rolls, and then the characters will role play it, and Gavelt will probably say we'll get we'll get food along the way. Like we'll plan that too. I was gonna see what I would have rolled if I rolled. Uh, are we even gonna get I any of the supplies? Uh, we'll we'll play that too. Let me just roll the survival thing right quick. Um, so what do you roll? I don't think I have a survival one, so I'll just roll one d twenty. I'm really really sorry to interrupt. Um, Schlebs just messaged me and said that he can be on in ten. Should I tell him? He can come. That he can come. He that's... can come. Okay. Yeah, he's good. You have plus two uh, in survival, uh, Gavelt. So that's a fourteen. Two oh, can. Fourteen. Okay, sorry, I was uh, DMing somebody. Um, Stop right. sliding into those DMs. So you got a, you got a fourteen. Uh, yeah, you're yeah, you're able to tell where North is. You you've been you you've Gavelt. been in the woods before. You know. You see Gavelt. You see Gavelt. I've been alive for over four for over four hundred years. <laughs> into old man's tuition. I assure you, <laughs> North is that way. <laughs> Wait, if we... Yeah, never mind. And Gavelt also points to a little sign, uh, or not sign, but carving in a tree that Don made that says this way. Wow. Um, Hideki walks outside and he looks around to see if he can find any edible plants for them to eat while they're there. Okay, roll survival for me. Survival or nature? Uh, survival. But isn't there still the supplies... We will get. We will. Anyway. Yeah, you have plus three in survival. You guys don't know what's a buzz, but. Uh, oh, you, you have can plus open three in survival. You can open up. Well, I mean, you open wouldn't it be smart up. to check out the supplies for food before starting to look for food? You know, it might just be more rum and cigarettes. Okay. Yeah, it should be. Okay, patience. Patience, dwarf. When we get there, when we get to this building he pointed out on this map, on the map, we will check for more food within the supplies. Um, In the meantime, while we're traveling, we'll see if we can find anything to kill that is edible, of course. Uh, Hideki finds some fruits hanging from uh, one of the trees with a survival check. It looks yeah, like there's enough fruits. for everyone. He, um, he calls over Slim. Hey Slim, can you do me a favor and get these fruit down for us? Okay. Uh, we have to roll like athletics, acrobatics. Uh, nope, they're they're at uh height level, like you like your height level. You can just reach up and grab them. I I reach up and grab them. I'm okay. assuming we've already I'm assuming we've already started walking away from the hut, right? Yeah. Okay. 
you, he was just doing that on the way. You guys can each add, or besides bologna, you guys can each add one ration to your inventory alongside <laughs> eating today. Uh, all of you are welcome. I didn't hear any thank yous, but I don't need any. Well, how, well, 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 how big is the fruit? I mean, is the fruit enough for everybody? <laughs> it's, no, no, it's everybody has some. Uh, you guys have enough to okay. eat today and add a ration to your inventory. Anyway, you see about Moshesh. Just says that. Just says that in Elvin. It says thank you in Elvin. Moshesh. But surely this. I mean, enough. it's no, it's no meat, but thanks. <laughs> You're welcome, dwarf. The spice. It's anyway, cool. you see. Is it still raining, by the way? Is it still kind of dark? Yeah, here? it's it's hard raining. It's like, it's probably like 4 a.m. right now. So it's still yeah, it's dark, dark, and it's raining hard. You know, you see Gavel, we must stick together, stick closely. There's uh, you, you see Hideki walk away from the Gavel as far as possible, ignoring him. We, we, we could just go back okay. to bed. We will not, because we have to find the human. Plus, we need that supply and more food. We cannot wait out this rainfall, and I don't have another mini spell nor the time to wait for a wall to get fixed on that house. We don't have the time. I say we. What time? What time will the sun rise? Uh, about six o'clock. So you guys got about two hours. I'd say the walk to the supply area is about four hours. But the but the um, thing is, the the but the thing is, but the thing is, so the characters cannot tell when the sun will rise. Yeah. Well, I'd, I'd say with Hideki's, like, going off of that survival check, I'll just say that he knows, like, in a couple hours, the sun will rise. On, on yeah, the map, it says there that. are there are null camp. I don't know what gnolls are, but I don't... They, if they be, if they are the enemy, I don't want they to are. fight them in guard. They Is that food? food? They are from the creatures. They could the be from a dwarf. We could go ahead and kill them and eat them. I don't, want to fight them in, I don't want to fight them in dark. Well, me and the dwarf want to go ahead. What do the rest of you want to do? Uh, I'll join you. You see, Gavelt. What is your name, Tiefling? Uh, it is Hideki. Hideki. What a natural... <clears throat> That's a natural-born name. Your mother must have been a creative one. In fact, she was. Hideki. Did, did you just insult her? my mother? I said she was. That wasn't an insult. That was a compliment. Hideki. Now, did you, were you born with her eyes to be able to see through the night? Um, if you were as smart as you claim to be, old man, you would know tieflings can see in the dark. Excellent answer. I will ignore your animosity. I will ignore your animosity. So can I see in the dark, widening his eyes. You pointing towards <laughs> you pointing towards Slim. You too can see in the dark. Well, of course. Um, as, as you guys are walking, so can I. It's nothing special. Uh, you're you're about halfway <laughs> to the supply area, and you see, mm -hmm. or, uh, and you start hearing a strange noise coming. Off to the left, it's in the forest. You can make a perception check to try to find out what that noise is. Check My out. barbarian hunter instincts say that I'm going to do that. Same. <laughs> Except I'm not barbarian. Um, my uh, ranger instincts. I need to pull out my character sheet on this fucking... On 22. No, oh, nice roll. Do we even need to roll? Like, I'm gonna say no. I mean, like, if, if you don't. If Mickey doesn't... Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Mimi gets 12. <laughs> um, I have a modifier. Uh, you see, uh... You see uh, Jang's eyes glow as, as she immediately hones in on the, what made the noise. Um... 
you think it's a musical instrument. Uh, Gavel has no idea. <laughs> Gavel, Slim, and Mimi have no idea what <laughs> the strange sound is. They're kind of scared. Or, like, cautious. <laughs> not scared. Cautious about, like, what's going on. But, uh, Jang, uh, you, you hear it and you think it's some kind of musical instrument. What does that mean? It's, it's, I tell this to the party. I tell this to the party. Can I tell what it kind of instrument it is or what it sounds like? It sounds like bagpipes. My character thinks you're drunk. <laughs> <laughs> it pans over the little single. <laughs> Are you drunk? <laughs> I'm telling you, I hear the bagpipes. See, look at he. You see, Cabell, look at Hideki and Slim, and then look at him, and then look at uh, <clears throat> and then look at Jing Jong. Backpipes. Backpipes. Are you certain? Yes. You might be hearing voices. I uh, hear the backpipes. I no, I'm not hearing voices. I'm hearing backpipes. Uh, I trust her. She knows how to build a house. I'm like our dwarf. I, what do you mean I know how to build the house? I built the you pile of rocks. Hmm? Wait, wait. You guys want to investigate how the backpipe noise? How does this no. orc know, know how to build a house? You see, you see, Gabel, getting... enough. You, enough. You, point to Slim, you go with him. Figure out what that sound is. We will follow closely behind. So basically, he wants Slim to go with Jean to figure out what that sound is. They will follow closely behind them. Okay, you, you guys see the sun uh, breaking through the canopy and falling down. Uh, there is a little, like, stump from where a tree fell over, and you see Baloney Crisis playing the bagpipe sitting on the stump, and all these little butterflies are around him. Sun came out real quick. <laughs> okay. is, is you guys are about halfway. It's been two hours. Isn't okay. this the man who puked on me and Mimi? It's just a well, human. It's not that interesting. Where did the bag part come from? You think if I was mouth partially open, partially, just like, he didn't say anything, but he'd be right next to the dicky when he said it's just a human, not that interesting. This is Puke Boy. Uh, I doubt that's Slim. its name. Slim. Human. Slim Hello. And, uh, Slim it's and, name. uh, 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 what's his face? Jane John would be the closest to talk to Baloney Crisis. They'd be standing like some feet away from those three. Everybody else would. But they can walk. I, I walk up to Baloney Crisis and I say, you, aren't you the one who was on the boat with, with me and the, me and the dwarf? You look familiar, yes. You puked on me, yes? I don't know. There is so much going on. It's hard to remember. Well, there I you remember here. that. Slim, make a perception okay. check for me. So, what age are you there? Yeah, he's, he's there. Where is he there? Alright. Uh, 13. Okay. Uh... It's hard to tell, but you see that dark purple ring around one of uh, Baloney's wrists. Well, well, well. Uh, I guess you uh, rolled for... Oh, wait, no. My voice. Well, well, well. I guess you rolled to see how many lives you got, too. She made the deal with the devil? Oh, how much? How, what'd you what you get, girl? You uh you hear a you hear a little whisper. No one else, just just Jing. I'm not a devil, and then that's that's all you hear. Baloney Crisis just goes back to playing the bagpipes. Wait, did you make a deal with the devil or not? Well, she has the mark. Toucan, we never rolled for me to find out how many lives that uh, I have. You have ten. Ten? Okay. 
You see it. No, you got a CD on, on uh, his wrist. You see Cabell or his with open. See Cabell walk he, over there. Both okay, he. Piled. He stops so playing good. and looks back at Zhang Jian and says, I don't believe in the devil. Okay. Did you make a deal with the god of death? Listen, I don't know. All I know was I woke up on a beach, I traveled through this forest for like a day, and I asked some skeleton guy chilling by a tree what was going on, and he explained something about some kind of deal with some death guy, and then I was falling into a hole and there was this cabin. It's it's all blurry. Show me your hand, if you please. That's a bit forward of you, wizard. Is this a proposal? Da, 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 he ignores, da, 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 da. He ignores da, 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 da. him, but he What are you him. doing? Baloney Crisis decides to humor him and shows him his hand. He sees the number, doesn't he? Yes. So out, so out of the question, does that mean? So does that mean that does that mean the amount of lives get added since we added her? Or did we added him? Uh, you guys would have to perform the blood pact with Baloney. So the number right next to our profile names do not change. Uh, not right now, no. It okay. looks like later on Baloney decides to join the party. Unless I'm mistaken, we so. unless I'm mistaken, we're doing the same thing right now. We're both trying to get a. We both made the deal with the devil. All of us in our party have. Did you, you just want call my can... lord the devil? Yes. Ooh. He, is, he is not the devil. Fine, we made a pact with the god of death. Baloney Crisis starts packing up his bagpipes. If you want, we can do it together. We can do what together? We can do the. We can fight. We can do whatever challenge the God of Death has. This, has this is how it works. If you do a blood pact with us, you add... Whoa, whoa, whoa. A blood pact? Are you trying to get me to marry you guys? Let me explain. Okay. There's so no blood right in now, the world, actually. Right now, this whole Basically, group... Basically, you get this, to drink some alcohol. This whole group has uh, 34 lives at the moment. And uh, we share all our lives. So if... You added your lives to us. I would assume that we get we have a better chance of surviving. Uh, we should also mention we're missing one of our members. He just disappeared on us. Hey, uh, roll a That's roll it. a perception check, uh, Baloney, for me. Perception, I don't have any modifiers, right? Um, what's your uh, let me check for you. Wisdom, hang on. I had to go answer the door. Oh, you're fine. Perception, you have plus four. She had to go answer the door real quick. Uh, what I'm doing is having her roll a perception check to see if she noticed Dawn because Dawn would have uh, came past her or came past Baloney. Are we still yeah, at, the, uh, at the supplies hut? Oh, there it goes. Oh, eight, we're, not, we're not there yet. You, you, uh, Baloney oh. heard some screaming, and it what sounded like a T-Rex. <laughs> Wouldn't everybody hear that? No, no, just Baloney. Oh, you guys are, are two okay. hours away from this position, or where you were so, camped at. I had to unlock... I had to unlock the door for my mom. What was she? What did you say? I hear what? You heard screaming. It sounded like a male scream, and then a T-Rex noise, like a roar. This was just last night. You didn't just now hear that. Yeah, yeah. You, you heard yeah. it like over over the night. Oh, okay. So he'll just continue with the other conversation then, since that's old news to him. Yeah. How long have you been in this spot, human? Uh, I camped out here during the night. Did you happen to hear 
another human walking by or see one by chance? Well, I mean, there might be a dead one somewhere around here. Uh, there, there was a scream and, I don't know, some weird angry roar, like a dinosaur. Oh, God. Perfect. That's, that's probably a not a dinosaur. Not. He, he sounded well. That scream sounded very distressed. I, I don't know if what you're looking for will be intact. Go ahead and look at his hand again. What's the number? Is it still 34? It's still 34. Think about crush his hand. You think about like that, that, turn his hand into a fist? He's still alive. So, so what do you say? What do you say? Do you want to do you want to work together with us? And you said this process is done by drinking alcohol. It's now is the al is the alcohol vegan? Yes, it's made from sugar canes. It's rum. Hmm. Yes. I do have my own goals. More lives would be beneficial. He decides what? to take part in it. Someone break out the rum. Hey. Oh, Hideki, roll an intelligence check for me, real quick. <laughs> hey, what's up, Slugs? Uh, welcome to the party. I will introduce your character here in a little bit. Gobbing way up. We just met up with uh, Baloney Crisis, and Hideki is giving me an intelligence check. A stupid emo child. We have to write you into the story because you weren't in the party of a 17. A 17? Okay, uh, you remember that all party members, uh, would need to be in the, in the, uh, blood pact to add baloney to the party. Um, baloney. actually, there's a small situation before we break out the rum. We don't have Don with us. Hey. Why does that... Uh, in case you remember, we need to have everyone in the party drink together. We could, we could just take a sip and hope he's still got some on him. He's, he always drinking, so we might just be lucky. I say we find him just to be 100%, and also so we don't randomly lose lives. Doesn't it have to be the same bottle? No, you guys just drink at the same time. Same Did drink. Did someone say same. bottom? <laughs> bottle, bottle. Okay. Okay, so uh, I guess <clears throat> you guys do party up though, right? Like, uh, you guys are gonna travel together? Not like... Human, do you want to still travel with us and find the other human so you can make the blood pack? It's better than wandering around on my own, I suppose. All right, let's go. Adventure awaits. Before I have to we make go, a phone call you... real quick for my mom. Give me a minute, okay? Okay. Where's his phone? All right, I'm gonna say you guys are. Uh... Before this, like just kind of story wise, I I'm gonna make sure to show uh, Baloney Crisis the map. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we'll just say uh, uh, Baloney so Crisis the map. Gives, the belt gives Jane John the map because he asked. And then shows the Lonely Crisis the map, and they give it back to Gabelle, who's currently holding the map. Just in case on that. So, about where, like, are we seeing a uh, Lonely Crisis? About halfway to the supply point. You guys got about another two hour hike to the uh, so, like, supply just, point. So, like, about where uh, it turns from one block into two blocks? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I say we uh, keep hiking. And it is it is about 6 o'clock now. It's right yeah, out. Six, 6 in the morning, the sun's coming up. Uh, the rain's still pouring a little bit. And uh, you guys are like, it's it's really muddy and no one no one's happy at this point walking through the mud. Uh, not, not even uh, people that are like, kind of used to being in like these muddy areas, like, if any of your backstories, like, this is just horrible. And, but, uh, like, 
I'll just say this is out in the open. You guys do see some, uh, like, footprints in the mud. Uh, human footprints, not a lot of them. Or it looks, it looks like, you know, about the size of a human shoe. And then you see, uh, pretty decent size, like, monster tracks over the, uh, footprints. We don't have to invest, we don't have to make an investigation check for this, right? We no, no, you know. guys just see it. Don's got himself kidnapped again. Yeah, we connect the dots. Yeah, yeah, you guys, like, based on what Baloney heard, you guys can tell what was going on. Think about a little guy this footprint. I see him, like, get on his knees and put his hands on, like, the giant footprint part. See him look, you see him uh, look around at any of these comedy. Can I make a perception check? Yes. Yes, you can. What do you, wait, what are you, what are you, uh, per, are trying to perceive as Gavel? Like, to make sure that there's, like, nothing, there's nothing close around here or anything like that. That's, how big is this footprint? Like, you can stand in it and it, you, you can lay down on this footprint and pretty much it would be bigger than your body? Uh, it'd be about the size of your body from the top of its toe to the heel of the like the track. So go ahead and go ahead and uh, make a perception check, or or you can make an investigation check. Uh, sorry. Roll one d twenty. Open up this tab real quick. It's an investigation, right? Yes. Yes. Plus four. All right. I rolled a 20. Modified <laughs> 20. 20. All right. Uh, uh -oh. you don't you don't see anything or hear anything in the distance. Uh, but a good thing is you don't see any blood uh, in the tracks or anything. They look to be probably about not fresh, but they're they're pretty like they're pretty newer. Like maybe only a couple hours has uh, passed since they've been made. Anybody ask him anything while he's thinking while looking at these trucks? I'm here to keep you moving forward. Okay. So now any other care all the other characters keep moving? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Think about... So are the tracks like following the same path? Yes. Yeah, they are. They're following the same human footprints. See Gavel turn around and make sure. See Gavel like look behind them real quick, make sure nothing is following them. See him like continue to go with the others. All right, I need to I need to know order of uh, walking. Like who who's? Oh, sorry, I need to know the order of like your walking. Uh, who's up front and then who's in back and then like what's what? Just what's the placement of the group? I it's think I'd be in front. It'd be me yeah. in front. Yeah. All right, Jing in front. Uh, Hideki behind Jing. Okay, Hideki second. I'll, I'll be in the middle. All right. I'll just say Slim third. I guess Gavelt somewhere in the middle too by Slim since he's got the map. I'd say Gavelt mm -hmm. four. Um, who's after Gavelt? Uh, Baloney. All right, Baloney's after Gavelt. Uh, who's, who's He's last? Okay, so uh, what's... do I know? Actually, single, single nugget, single. Chicken, chicken nugget, and then Mimi. All right, chicken nugget, then Mimi. All right, um, well, this was a horrible row. Uh, so you guys just hear sloshing, like mud is moving so quick, and then before you even know what's happened, uh, baloney. You are fate are back first in mud. A orc is over you, and he has his hand over your mouth. And you guys oh. see this, and he is a huge boy, like almost seven foot tall, and he looks muscular. Can I attempt to talk to him in orcish? Uh, yes, you can. Ooh. Uh, what do you say to him? 
I say to him basically, whoa, 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 what are you doing with with a member of our party? Um, let me roll. He ignores you. Um, Baloney, you're sitting there, and this orc is is uh, look, staring you down. I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Okay, let me check what modifier that is. That's a plus two. She's going to puke a kid, isn't it? And is that a D20? Yes, D20. Eleven. Oh, man. Oh, no. Baloney's crying. (laughs) (laughs) Like legit crying? Like legit crying. So he's kind of just like... This orc scared uh, the crap out of of Baloney. (laughs) Come on, bro. He did, you, she just joined. He just joined, joined our party. He's you guys not see, the see the orc lift or go through its back, and it looks like he's taking out a piece of paper. He holds up to you a picture, uh, baloney, and it's of a girl with uh, pink pink hair. Her skin is pale white, and her eyes are also pink. That looks like he's getting ready to cast a spell. <laughs> he's ready to like. Like, you just see him holding up that picture, and he points to your eyes, and then he takes the hand off your mouth and points to the picture. He says Guys, in he... Orcish, because my character can speak Orc, I've never seen that person before in my life. Alright. Uh, he's just going to get up, and uh, he looks... Who who was Bob Baloney again? Or who uh Gavelt? Gavelt. He's was, looking uh-huh. at you, Gavelt, and I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> what the hell? Okay. He's um, trying to mm-hmm. intimidate you. You have plus four in wisdom saving throws. Mm-hmm. All right, okay. you are not faulted by this man's intimidation. And he holds release, up the picture to you. Release him. Just says that. Oh, he's <laughs> he's off of him. He's off of him. Oh, okay, okay. But so this picture, he's showing this picture to him? Yeah, he's showing this picture to you, uh, Gavelt. What did you say? just like on his hands and knees gasping for air right now. It's a, it's a woman with uh, pink hair and pale white skin with pink eyes. I scream over to him. What do you want with the person in that picture? In or He ignores you. You see Nor- Gavelle do a slight do a slight hand gesture to tell Lonely Crisis to come closer to him. See, Gavel. I do not know if you know Calvin, but I have never seen this. Who is this woman? Baloney Crisis doesn't see the gesture. He's too busy trying to recover. <laughs> Um, after, after Gavelt's, uh, response, you see him just make his way, uh, past Baloney, and he's moving into the forest brush again. Guys, I say we just leave Well, that was an odd fellow. That was strange. Are you alright there, crying human? Even after death, the orcs are still after me. (laughs) Oh my gosh, this was bad for Baloney. You see Gavelk. You see Gavelk with his hand out. No, he's like, he's on the verge of having a panic attack right now. Okay, okay. Oh, so he can't. He's still on his. He's still sitting out on the ground. He's like on his hands and knees, freaking out. Anyway, are you afraid? Are you afraid of war? I don't want to talk about it. Hmm. <clears throat> about do not worry, child. Child. I will defend you. Now stand. There is he just kind of like, he kind of like gives Gavel like an up and down look over this 
skinny fucking elf and then remembers the seven foot hulking orc and is like, uh huh, okay. You see, give up with his hand out to him. Anyway, we should... you see, you see, give up with his hand out to him. Now, sad. You cannot stay here forever. There's much to accomplish. Do I help him out? He brushes off your hand, but he does stand up. Okay. Uh, you guys see another familiar figure following the orc as Strudel Kitty trying to be stealth. Actually, roll a stealth check for me, Strudel Kitty. How do I do that? Uh, roll a oh, 1d20 no. and then add your modifier from your character sheet. I can tell you what your modifier is. Oh, please do. Yours is plus 7. And then please say out your roll when, when you roll. He has plus 7 in stealth. Uh, how? Oh, I did it wrong. No, you, no, you did, did it right. Oh, 24. 24. Ah. All right. Um, dun, 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 dun. Yeah, like he, that, uh, the orc had no idea you were following him. But uh, seeing you guys, Strudel Kitty kind of like slinks down from a vine, upside down Stupid Spider-Man orc. style. <laughs> like, I'm back, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Hey! What's up, oh, bro? God. It's boy. What do you mean, oh god, you emo child? You almost got killed by an orc. Oh, no. You can go, like, stare at this person. Flashback. <laughs> what happened here? <laughs> what, How what, is what, that fine what? holding your, all your weight up? Shut up, I'm triggered! Where did you go? Why did you leave us? I got bored, so I fucked off. But now, I mean, I fricked off, but now I'm back. You see Gavel observing. You see Gavel observing him. Does he have I'm a problem? Tired of this emo uh, baloney crisis. Make a perception check, uh, Gavel, or you can just ask him. By the way, uh, you don't know his name yet, Shab, so you can't say his name. Uh, Whose name? Perception. Baloney crisis. You don't know her name. Yes, I, I mean, do, and it's a he. You don't even know his gender. I just said he. I mean uh, he. I can mm-hmm. say for reasons that our characters do know each other. We do know each other. Fine, 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 okay. Remember they had the whole debacle with the uh, dragon? Yes. Mm-hmm. This emo... I can't curse. Alright. Yes, you can. Baka. <laughs> this emo Baka shot at my baby dragon. Back. And I will never forget. Oh, you're that person. I will never forgive. I'm oh, still mm. wondering how that vine is holding all your weight. Oh my goodness, I gotta can you Jason. wonder what something else? What are you else? rolling for? Uh, I was rolling to see if I could see the purple mark on his body. Uh, no, you you can't tell. He's He's got sleeves on. Haha. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. So ask him then. Tell us how you got here. Um, I kind of just fly. But I can only fly sometimes. I can't fly anymore. Rip. With those stubs of wings? Oh my goodness. Go away. Hideki, I don't like you. Do, do you what have the that, that the marking on your arm just like the rest of us? No. I don't know how you guys solid. got these markings, yeah. so I'm just going to say no. In the Metal Gear Solid exclamation point. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Um, okay, okay. Um, for, I'm going to retcon that and uh, you say yes. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you're I say no, I don't have to this goddamn them. mark. Yes, you do. <laughs> you will not tarnish my perfect skin. As he's saying he doesn't have the mark, you see his sleeves roll back as it shows. As Nani, part. when did I get this mark? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll play it out like that. Like he just sees deep. it. You see the bell with a huge face palm, like gripping his face. All right, I Show grab Baloney by the collar. Baloney, what happened to me? He just kind of like pushes your hand <sighs> off. Probably the same thing that happened to everyone. Explain what happened to everyone. Head. I don't want to know. Show me the palm of your hand. Just... Short I, I got you. I got you. Okay. So... I don't know. I stumbled into it. Ask one of was these. The, was they seem to know more than I do. Show me was the there palm a t- of your hand. Was there a time that you had to roll something? Yes. No, they wouldn't. They wouldn't roll. <laughs> All right. Never mind. It happened. I don't need to know. 
Continue. They wouldn't roll anything. Did you, place the palm, did you place the palm of your hand on something? That did something. happen, Strudel. My baby dragon. Anything else? You, okay, uh, um, I'm just going to say you guys see a number eight on Strudel Kitty's uh, hand. Number eight? <gasps> Does Ooh, that means you have eight lives. Am I from Codename Kids Next Door? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> that was an orc game. Orc named kids next door. <laughs> you think about you think about we are wasting time. Continue Strudel, Strudel, this isn't home. You did not play that game. Okay, I'm sad now. Okay. I no longer want to speak. I guess, uh, like Strudel, do you join up with them and walk? They they. They show you the map. I'll just say that. Strudel nods. Strudel yeah. nods. And they say Silent. supplies are up ahead. Strudel shrugs. And uh, you guys do not see any sign of that orc or hear anything anymore. He's gone. And he he went a beeline like toward the walls on the map. Like He took a beeline that way. See, uh, Gabel continue to walk in a direction towards where the supplies is. If anybody else follows and wants to continue going in the direction they're going to go on, I think I think everybody's going to start walking that way, same order. Where would Strudel order. Kitty be in the order Strudel now, though? Place, yeah. uh, I'm, I'm going to say just same spot. You guys are I'm just a little him. more. My, my character's carry me, carry me now. Okay. What's the between, order? Between Baloney and uh, Gavelt. Oh, oh, Strudel. Uh, I guess Strudel just falls in like in front of Mimi. Okay. Let's write this out. So it, the order needs to be ran out somewhere on, on the uh, Discord. Yeah. Whatever. Do you write us like numbered? Like one first is me. First is Jen, then is Hideki, By then the way, is Slim, the, then the is Gamelt, then Two is Baloney, then is Nugget, then Strudel, then Mimi. Okay. Yep, I'm writing it out real quick for you guys. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm going to say you guys just continue forward, uh, walking that way. Wait, what number did uh, Schlubs have? Schlubs is uh, number seven. 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 Oh, he had eight on his on his hand. He's seven eight on his in order. Okay. Yeah. Oh. And how? And Baloney had eleven or ten. Uh, ten. Baloney had ten. Ten. Okay. I'll write this down too. All right, there's your uh, walking order in the Discord chat. Nugent. Oh, my bad. <laughs> I might have pressed the T there. Nugent. <laughs> That's his real name. Okay. So. <laughs> Spoiler alert for Lord. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> anyway, they continue on. Nugget agent. Nugent. All right, you guys uh, continue on. I'm just going to say you, uh, you walk with no trouble uh, besides, like, the terrain. And you approach uh, some trees, and behind the trees is a, like, it looks like a cabin, kind of. But it's made out of thick wood. And you see Any chance we can squeeze between the trees? Yeah, you can. Okay. So you guys approach this cabin? say Jen goes in first and checks it out. Alright, um... I guess roll me an investigation check. And a perception check, uh, Jang. And a perception. Investigation and perception. Alright, first one's investigation, second one. Alright. The dawn. I you see the vault. This is the investigation. Okay, you got 11. 
In the fifth. I got eleven on the investigation, fifteen on perception. All right, investigation. Uh, it's not hard. You walk up to the cabin, and uh, the the like entry way looks like it's braced with something on the inside. Um, for your perception check, you do see human footprints uh, walking around this thing. Oh. Are they leading away from the cabin? It looks like they walked around the cabin and then uh, oh, walked. Uh, it looks like they're going toward the null camp. Speak of all, what do you see? Asking uh, James, what do you see? I just, I explained to him what I saw. Speak of all, oh. pull the map out. You, know, you see the bell, pull the map out, just look at it. You see him slowly, but with shaky hands, put it back in his armor. We need to get to those supplies quickly. <clears throat> what is that noise? I think that's yeah. uh, something going on in Loyal's background. What? We were hearing weird noises. <laughs> What is my block. character's status on if he needs to eat or not? He's he's full. You you don't have any extra rations, but he's good for right now. Okay. Same with Strudel Kitty yeah. eight two four five nine. Same with Strudel. Answer for me. You know, go about after you know he said he said there. Well, we need to get this. We need to get to those supplies faster than the pace we're moving. You know, he continues to keep moving. Oh, you guys are at the supply cabin. It's, it's supply and the door is the door is just closed or it's locked. It's braced with something. You tried to open it, but it looks like it's braced with something. And uh, is there a uh, like open window somewhere? Uh, nope, no open windows. Uh, you can roll me an intelligence check though, uh, single, because you're up there looking at the footprints now too. And you, you, you're, you know, you're uh, experienced with the tracking and stuff. So basically, just a straight one d twenty then. It's intelligence. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, is it just an intelligence check or is it a perception? Uh, he would just use uh, straight intelligence for me. Okay. Mm. After this, I have a check I want to do. Okay. Yeah, and if anybody wants to make a check, just let me know. 16? Okay, um... By the looks of things, you can... You kind of see where he attempted to climb up onto the cabin and fell down... And then, like, after a few more tries around, he started walking toward the null camp uh, single. So it doesn't look like he made it into the cabin. Uh, okay. Is, has the um, cabin got a chimney? And am I small enough to go down it? Uh, there is no uh, chimney at the top. Can I roll oh, a strip check? Break it's down the door? Get... Okay, you want to roll a string check to hit the door? Just does straight string. Does it have any closed uh, windows? Roll yeah. athletics. No, there's no windows in it. Oh, fuck. Eleven. I rolled. Uh, Jane Come hits on. the door and then falls back into the mud. Can I have a go? All right. You sure. see Mimi rolling up his non-existent sleeves, moving toward. The <laughs> Could I, roll I mean, that? I beat you. I beat you in armor wrestling, so I don't know how much stronger they are than me. It's an athletics check, by the way. So that's a five. You're adding five. Oh, yeah, I'll just add oh, two fifteen. All right, you hit the door. You don't fall in the yeah, mud, but that door is stiff, Mimi. Okay, I'll go for it. <laughs> Wait, you will go here. for it. Okay. That's slip tissue. I'm gonna say, you're not proficient in a uh, athletics, are you, Slim? He is. He is. Okay. All right. Give me a straight roll then. He's got plus three in it. 
did give out say this while standing right next to Higgy, standing right next to Higgy, while standing right next to Higgy. Jeng's cool. just kind of Jen. Jeng looks at uh, Slim and just starts kind of laughing. Yeah, Does anyone see? other strong want to try? Gavel? I am. I am proficient in athletics. Um, then roll. Then still roll. Like, so it's a plus three. Plus three, yeah. Yeah, we're waiting for you to roll. We're ready for you to roll, Go. In the meantime, Gavel just says that <clears throat> that fool went towards the no camp. You know, he says that while standing right next to Hideki, but he didn't directly look at him. Did Hideki say anything? Ooh. I'm I'm just oh, laughing because this happened. You rolled a 19. Uh, 19. All right. Uh, you guys see Slim step back, and Slim actually jumps uh, to try to drop kick the door. And her feet go through the door, her legs. The door's still, yeah, still, still there, there but me? yes. Uh, sh Slim is now like, you know how you hang from like a bar at the uh, like park? Upside down with your knees like uh, holding you on the bar. Slim's kind of doing that with her uh, legs in the door. I lost connection, so I didn't hear anything that you said. You, you oh, kicked the door, and you're now it's hanging tough. through the door. Your feet, like your legs, went through the door, and you're just like kind of hanging there now. The door is still like sturdy in there. There's just two holes in it where you're hanging from. I, oh my god. I make an effort to pull them out? Yes. Uh, what do I have to roll for that? I, I could, I'll just say you guys pull him out. Or pull her out. Okay. Is the hole small enough to, uh, put single nugget? No, it's not, it's not, uh, sm uh, big enough for Wait. single nugget. Is it, is it small like enough to, like, stick her arm through? Yeah, you can, you can stick your arm through. Can I stick my arm through it and try to, like, pry up the, uh, the thing that's barring it? Uh, yeah, roll me a sleight of hand. Oh, that's not me. I thought there's no way I have plus four. Oh yeah, that's just a straight D twenty. I mean, I can try it if you don't. You already did an action. So I'll let him do it. Okay. But like, we're not fighting, so you can do whatever. Yeah. Okay. Five. Uh, you reach in there, but you really can't. You really can't tell. Uh, where, what's like bracing it or how to move? What's bracing it? Okay. I'll, uh, Let the guy who was just stuck in the door do it. You have plus four. Oh my god. Twelve. Uh, Slim, she's having trouble. She's not getting it either. You guys do. You guys I... are able to look inside, though. Um. Oh, since I have plus three, I'll have a try. Slight of hand. It's unless someone picks you up. Single, I want you to roll with disadvantage. But if somebody picks you up, I'll say you can roll straight. I can help him. I don't like put okay, him me, me, on top of my shoulders. Yeah. It's a little bit taller I, than you, so. I love the relationship <laughs> that's building between Mimi and Single. Sooner or later, they're going to be like uh, stacked up wearing a trench coat. <laughs> so, you know. Oh, God. Hey, <laughs> yeah. hey, hey okay. Mimi, you want to go? Uh, single, your arms just aren't long enough. <laughs> you think of oh, uh, you think of oh, stand back. See him about to put his hand out. You see him about to do a magic missile spell in this damn door. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, no. All wait, right. No, oh no, Mimi is All right. Oh. So you but cast wait, 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 magic. Mimi's rolling? We don't even yeah. know what's inside. Wait, is it? Wait, wait, is it? Wait, wait, is the supply thing oh. wood? It, it's it's thick wood. Like it looks like trees were cut to make this thing. It I sure hope there isn't fire, any explosives in this shirt. Um, I guess, uh, roll me some magic missile damage, uh, Gavelt. Does anybody oh, no. check anything? Wait, does anybody Go check ahead. anything before he does it? But you already performed that. Okay, actually, can I look inside? The hole? Uh, he's blasting it. He's blasting it. <laughs> It's too late. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm running. I'm running. I'm running. Yeah, I'm I'm running. Away. But Gavelt said, does anyone want to check it before? No, I didn't say that. I asked that. I asked that. Yeah. It doesn't matter. I'm about to roll this shit. Yeah, roll it. <laughs> He's already doing it. 
What about the roll? By the way, I would just like to point something out. Literally, everyone in the party has uh, dark vision except for Baloney <laughs> Crisis and Turtle Kitty. I was like, everybody's yeah, yeah, taking their action to try to open it instead of looking in there. But uh, Gavel's blasting that <laughs> bitch open. Mm-hmm. Run, run for explosives. Yeah, you guys don't know what Don counts as supplies, tube. So. Wait, rum's flammable. Oh. Yeah, 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 it is. You hear, uh, you hear Single say that as the spell gets cast. Yeah. Wait a minute. <laughs> I'm running back. <laughs> Wait, but oh, no, rum oh, is no. flammable. I think, and then, like, all I think of our it's, eyes uh, go wide and we run backwards. 4d4, I'm gonna be, uh, uh, I'm, gonna be, I'm gonna be 30 feet. Yeah, I think so. Because you'd hit it with all four right. missiles, right? Or is it three missiles? I think it's three. It's three. three okay, D4. so three all D4, right. yep. R roll three D4. <laughs> Alright, six. Alright, you guys see that door get blasted back with uh, Gavelt's <laughs> magic. Gavelt kind of like puts his hand in a pistol form and like blows on it too. Okay, well, let's all right. check it out. You see, you see, you think about all right. See him start walking towards it. You all can come out of the bushes now. <laughs> start walking inside that damn building. All right. All right. When you uh, get in there. You see bags and bags of food. It looks, it looks like uh, the fruits that you guys got earlier. There's, it also seems to be like some kind of meat, uh, being stored in there. This looks like the Knoll's the Knoll Camp supply like uh, cabin. And they're not armed at all. Uh, nope. No one was around. You guys just seen the footprints with Dawn. There's no weapons in no, here. Just... Oh, there's no, there's no weapons. It's, right. it's food, many... and uh, it looks like some water skins too. How many rations can we each take? Okay, I'm gonna say like with this, um, you guys can add two rations each to your inventory. So those who had a fruit earlier would have three, and then Baloney and Strudel would have two rations on them. And that's, a, and that's everything? And, we basically stripped them dry? Uh, yep, you guys stripped them dry. Uh, there is also some, it looks like some plant material over uh, in one of the, like, sh on one of the shelves. Bell, I would recommend you do an arcana check on that. What about the water skins? Uh, oh, yeah, each of you add a water skin to your uh, inventory, too. Okay. And full of, it's full of water. This place. This place has fruit in excellent condition. And these water skins, I haven't seen them crap at this well since my younger years. They could be better. So do we each but have one fun. water skin now? Yep. And it's filled with water right now. Yeah, right now, what kind of fruits are in here? Uh, just that same fruit. Like, you guys don't know what it is. It's, it's kind of like... I, I'd say just, uh, for, uh gravity of the story none of you guys have been in this area in your lifetime and this is a completely foreign fruit I see it seemed good to eat though well, yeah I guess uh, <coughs> think about looking at a fruit well, thinking about it don't know what it is but it really ate some hasn't killed me yet <laughs> okay. um you guys uh hear some whistling outside Not exactly like that, just a single whistle. <laughs> uh, who would be closest to the door? I would. Alright, Hideki, uh, you see the orc again standing. And he is covered in blood. Oh, well. And uh, I, want, I need you to make a, uh, a strength saving throw, Hideki. Oh, okay. Uh, you have plus one in strength saving throws. Well, <laughs> oh god, 
All right, uh, let me throw this here. All right, uh, the orc throws Dawn tied up in ropes at you. And you take two bludgeoning damage along with Dawn. Did he just what? murder the whole gnome village and took Dawn away from there? And uh, Wait, after he, th he throws Dawn to you, like you guys are on the ground, he points at Dawn and then he points behind him. No, what? Behind Dawn? No, he behind points the, be behind the himself. himself. Okay. You see, you see Gavel act while they're still getting supplies. What is going on? <laughs> Does he Decky see anything? Because he's the one that can see the shit. Can Jang check the number on his wrist? Uh, on whose wrist? Jang. His own. Oh, like, oh, yeah, it's 34 still. 34. Was Baloney oh. able to see all of that? Yes. He asks Everyone's um, the orc in orcish what he's like. What are you trying to say? Uh, in in orcish, you uh, hear him <laughs> reply, "This man killed a baby T Rex." Oh my! <laughs> and you guys look behind the orc, and you see a baby T Rex uh, on the floor dead, and Don is squirming, tied up in the like vines. Uh, you see Jang. Mm -hmm. You see Jang. Look at the T Rex. Look at Dawn and start laughing. <laughs> why? Is, why is the orc blooded? Baloney crisis shakes his head and translates. Um, crisis shakes his head and translates what the orc said for the group. Orc said he killed T Rex. Uh, you see Gabelle, you see, he's gagged you too. You see Gabelle take the vines off his. You see Gabelle start taking the vines off his. Get, start taking the vines off his mouth. Ah! Oh my God! Damn Jack orc in hysterics. Jack I had a plan. Now we're screwed. Orc screwed me. This is not my fault. It's the orc's fault. You know. What I'm just... Wait. Let me get this straight. You kill what? Run! <laughs> Untie me, please. And we need to run. You know, why? Uh, the T Rex From mother. What? Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, he he Wait, him, and then... you, you actually killed the baby. You actually killed the baby. Uh, yeah, um, I, I had a plant. Look, I was going to plant that dead body, that T Rex dead body, in the Knoll camp. You know, for the fun of this scene, you know, for I the asked... fun of this scene, in the middle while he's talking, the ground starts, the ground shook once. <laughs> I, I, ask, I ask if the orc speaks common. Uh, the orc ignores you. I ask if Strudel Kitty can fly me and him away to safety. <laughs> no, you're too I, fat. <laughs> I untie, I untie Dawn and uh, ask him where we. Uh, from Dawn here. starts beelining toward the null camp. <laughs> like Dawn Hero starts running. Right <laughs> Guys, follow him. Go, go, go. Follow him. We have to do a blood ritual. I, I, I chase after Dawn. I chase after Dawn. <laughs> You think about wait, you idiot, that torch! I mean, I guess at that point when he said that, you that T Rex were right. And, uh, <laughs> Last one's around Nick. Uh, think about. I want to say like you guys follow him for a good like thirty minutes, uh, and you guys approach the knoll camp, and all the knolls are dead. There are dead bodies oh, everywhere. No. Uh, oh, there we go. No. Hey, hey Don, okay. you still think this is a good place to be at? Don, please, please tell me you didn't do this too. Oh no, this wasn't me. It looks like the, I think the orc did this. That's probably the orc. Yeah. Uh, you think of that with well, magic energy around his hands, okay. looking around, he, he's ready to fire another set of magic missile just in case? He, he caught me like, uh, dragging the T-Rex uh, here. I was just going to plant the body to distract the mama because the mama is in front of the wall. And I, like, wanted to prevent that, but then that baby T-Rex was a little bit of a problem because it still has sharp teeth, and he shows you where he got, like, kind of bit on the back. And, uh... Look, I, look long, long story short, the orc fucked me by <laughs> killing all the gnolls. This is not how this is supposed to play out. I'll let you know. Like, th this dream, or this memory... From that, this is not how this is supposed to play out. There's not supposed to be T-Rexes here. The gnolls are not supposed to die. 
the uh, death actually ends up saving the gnolls and the people. This is this is totally screwed up, and I don't know what's going on. Wait, wait, who's Dev? death? Death. Don uh, Don is just like, excuse me, but who the heck is this? Oh, Don, this Don, is before, before we do anything, can I explain the situation to Don with the uh, blood pack? Oh, well, you guys want to add uh, the human and the uh, uh, lizard to the party? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, they are friends. You, you need you more lives. You think about that we even have time for this? <laughs> no, <laughs> John looks at you and says, "No, time. you're right." Actually, that T Rex will be going looking for the sin of its little one. Um, and I, which so is all so, the way back there. Yeah, so all yeah. the way back at the supply camp. So we're just safe. Well, the orc has the baby T Rex. So. Has the corpse has got stuff. Uh, the corpses, yeah. Yeah, you see, you see something. You want to make a survival check to try to loot the corpses? Uh, yeah. All right, I'm yeah, gonna, I'm gonna let single that. single nugget go first since he uh, brought it up. Make a survival check for me. You see, going back while he while he's making a survival check, going back towards the survival. Check. Wait, why is it a survival? Why do we even have to make a check to loot them? I'm doing this based off of uh, like what you guys will find, like the like rarity and stuff of the items that you guys will find based okay. on the survival check. Anyway, um, can we all make the check? Yes, yes. Or... There's, there's a lot of corpses. You guys just see Knowles with their heads smashed in. And I mean, keep it going. Get a 17, maybe. Even though Ooh. it would be useless. You see, you see the bell. What's my modifier? Pressed? Uh, Strudel Kitty, yours is. For survival, yours is one. Lit. Hey. Uh, you guys notice the gnolls are still moving, but I'm gonna let Gavelt go. Roll one d twenty. What is my investigate? Roll investigation. You said or survival. survival. Uh, if you're survival. trying to loot them, but uh, oh, nat okay. twenty. Uh, Jing John, you tell the rest of the group to get away from the gnolls. I got a twenty. Damn. Oh, <laughs> tonight. Get away from the freaking corpses. Yeah, these corpses uh begin. To kind of rise up, and uh, they're they are moving uh, towards you guys. I need you guys to roll initiative. Wait, are oh, they um are do, are they undead? Uh, you don't know. You'd have to make an Arcana or uh, let's see investigation check. Can I make an investigation check to see if they're undead? Yes, but roll after roll after roll initiative. initiative. Yeah, after initiative. Roll initiative. So how many are rising up? I uh, I'll let you guys know. I rolled a five. Okay. Where is my initiative modifier? I rolled a fourteen. I rolled. I rolled a twelve. I rolled a fifteen. All right, hold on, hold on, guys. Let me uh, get out my little paper here. If I can find it, I should have my. There it is, my graph paper. I'm just gonna write it down on that with your names next to it. Okay, so. All right. Hey, Gavel, do you want to go first or me? I mean, like, I'll take this. Uh, I know, I'm going first. I'll go first since we're tied. I'll let you go first last time. Uh, Strudel still, still has to roll for initiative. No, I did. Oh, did you? Yeah. See, Wait for initiative. Did. Yes, uh, roll initiative, initiative yeah. you guys are being attacked. Um, uh, Drew still has to go. And there's two people yeah. who rolled 15, so you guys are going to have to decide who goes first. Yeah. Gavelt's going first before me. I'm missing someone who... Oh, Hideki. Hideki rolled it. We're waiting for a Strudel. No, no, no. Okay. I, I was writing down the names. Okay. All right, now tell me what you got, uh, starting with Baloney. I got a five. I, found, I have the order here. Uh, Gavelt, would you would you go? Fifteen. All right, Slim. Uh, fifteen. But 
Vega's before me. Okay, I'm just going to put a plus by his name. Strudel. Seven. Seven. Mimi. At twelve. Twelve. Uh, single. Uh, sixteen. Sixteen. Awesome. Jing. I got a. I got a fourteen. Fourteen. Uh, let me roll for Don real quick. Ooh, God damn it, Don got a nat one. <laughs> All right, I Hideki. Nineteen. Nineteen. All right. All right. So Hideki's up first. Um. Let me roll for them. Uh, you... I have the order. It's Hideki, Single, Gavelt, Slim, Jang, Mimi, Strudel, Kitty, Baloney, and Dawn. Okay, so uh, Hideki, uh, you see four corpses uh, rise up and are moving toward you. Um, How far away are they? Uh, they are about 20 feet away. Just curious, uh, who grabbed the daggers and who grabbed the short sword? sword? I have the I have the dagger. Sam has a short sword. Um, I don't remember anything else. I have a paddle. <laughs> it was never established what I got because I rolled a twenty. I have a short sword as well. I'll do an Eldritch blast against one of them. Okay, Eldritch blast. Uh, read it out for me. Uh, a beam of crackling energy towards a creature within range, 120 feet range. Uh, one on a hit, the target takes so and force damage. Wait, I'm sorry. What would you would you say, uh, loyal? One d10 force damage. Force damage. All right, roll it for me. And yeah, Sam, he got a net one last time for damage on that. By so. the way, too, can what? It what did I find since I wrote a 20 on that investigation? Uh, I guess you, before I could pick up shit. Fucking pick yeah, they got up as soon as you guys got close to them. I stopped you like All as right. soon as you started yeah. looking. Alright, uh, huh. you, you see Hideki charge up and then a slightly bigger uh, light ball flies out from Hideki oh and hits one oh, of the gnolls. And uh, you see the gnolls head kind of like tilt back but then it slowly... <laughs> urches over back forward and starts walking toward you guys. And um, next is uh, Single. You're up. Alright. Okay. Should I see if they, uh, if I try talking to them, would they respond? Um, like just shout you, about. you can try that as a bonus action. Okay. I'm just going to shout hello really loud. Um. Uh, D <laughs> Don, Don uh, looks over toward you. I don't think they're in the mood for talking. They have no head. You're going to end a distance from Gabel. They have no head. <laughs> And now on to your action. Do you have any weapons on you, uh, single? Yeah, I've got a short sword and a plank of wood. Okay. So, I guess I'll try sort of like charging one of them with the sword. Alright, you're charging the one up front that Hideki hit. Uh, roll to hit, and I think uh, you get to add your dex mod. To, since it's a finesse weapon, he also adds... and proficient. Wait, are you proficient with short swords? Yeah, he is. He's a ranger. Okay, so you add your deck. You add five to whatever you roll. Roll d twenty five. plus five. It'd be seven, because his dex is five, and then proficiency proficiency, proficiency is plus two. No, yeah, dex, dex, dex mod is three. three. Proficiency. Wait, you your dex mod is three single. Yeah, it's the saving throws that are big. Oh, oh. Normal dex is just plus three. Yeah, so it's a five. D20. <coughs> I was thinking of two again, my bad. Sorry if I'm, like, taking... Oh, oh nine. That hits. Oh, no. Bro damage. Really? I think it's 1d6 plus your uh, dex. These are so a nine hits. Oh, damn. Damn, their armor class 
class must be. Mm-hmm. Is that a good armor class Ooh, or a bad seven. Armor class? All right. You just see bad. single nugget go up, and it he slices this uh, first zombie null in half. Oh, hell oh. yeah. Clue. Does, yeah. does he stop moving? Uh, it, it, it kind of slinks back. Like, it's still attached a little bit, and then it, like, falls over. And oh, then there's... He attacks right. the same one. He attacks the same yeah, one that... Uh, uh, Hideki. And then there's three more still walking towards you. And you guys do hear some rumbling in the back, so it looks like more are coming. And, uh, now we go to Gavelt. You see those three in front of you. You see, uh... <clears throat> Yeah, you see Gavel look at the corner of his eye. Good, good, good work, Nugget. You see him just say that. I see him put his hand out. <clears throat> you know, you see him see like this skeletal structure start forming around his arm. It's like this white claw looking arm form around him. Yeah, as he cast the chill touch spell. All right, roll it for me, or not roll it. Uh, read it for me. You create a ghostly skeletal hand in space of a of a creature within range. Make a range spell attack against the creature to assail it with the chill of the grave. On a hit, the target takes one d eight necrotic damage, and it can't and it can't regain hit points until the start of your next turn. Okay, you, all right, roll because it. Because they're on, because they're undead, you have disadvantage on the damage roll, on the attack roll. Uh, if you hit undead, you know so it's, it also has disadvantage on attack rolls, as in you know the creature has disadvantage on attack rolls. So anyway, roll. Yeah, oh, roll, the uh, creature has roll one d eight. Yeah. 1d8, yep. Oh, it hits no matter what. Yeah, it's... it. Well, I don't think that one has a DC save, does it? Mm, nope. Uh, it nope, yeah, it'll just not. hit. Okay. If it's in range. Alright, three. Oh, three. Alright, you guys see like a skeletal hand uh, reach out and touch the zombie, and the zombie seems like it's being like paralyzed. It's shaking. It's still standing, but it's shaking. And uh, yeah, he just he just grips it. He, yeah. he just grips that one. Yeah, Gavelt uh, Gavel grips it. Now it's your turn, Slim. Are we on a uh, scary looking arm? What, what terrain are we on? You guys are on like a dirt dirt terrain. Like it's just like they've uh, kind of made a camp around. Okay. Um, okay, then I'll just attack it with my well. I'll attack the zombie, um, Gavelt attacked with his spell. Alright, roll to hit. Okay. Let me check for a second. Okay. You're attacking the same one Gavelt hit? Yeah, so it'll be a plus six. Twelve that hits. All right, row damage. You said you got a dagger. Yeah. All right, I got, I think that's one d four plus uh, your dex. All right, six. All right, you hit the one uh, Gavel's holding. Uh, you guys see uh, Slim jump forward and stab this thing in the head with uh, his dagger. And as he pulls his dagger back, the head just comes off. Of the knoll, uh, on his dagger, and the body kind of slumps over and falls. The head's kind of crushed though, so it's like it, it looks weird on the dagger. Okay, I do not want this. Whatever. Right. Uh, now Let's it's see. it's uh it's my little zombie boy's turn in the back, and closest one to him right now is Slim, so he's going for you. Let me roll for him to hit. Oh, a four. That's not hitting you. At least I don't think that's hitting you. Yeah, his armor class is 15. Yeah, you see this. Uh, you see one of the gnolls reach for Slim, and he kind of dunks under uh, ducks under it and uh, uses that zombie's hands to pull the, like, dead gnoll's uh, head off of his dagger. And now it is Jing's turn. Miss me, miss me. Now you gotta kiss me. Uh. Think of all kind of smart people. I don't want to use. I don't want to use my rage yet, so I'm just gonna. 
I'm, I also have the short sword, which I'm proficient in, so I'm just going to roll the hit. Hit the third one. Oh, yeah, that hits. 21. 21. So then with short sword... That 1D6 plus strength. Plus plus strength yeah. Go plus easy, weapon. girl. Jesus. 1D6 plus, plus strength plus proficiency. No, you don't add proficiency to damage. Oh. Are you kidding? All right, you hit him. Uh, the, wait, did you hit the one grabbing for Slim? Yeah, yeah. Okay. You see uh, Jing run up and slash that thing, and one of its arms falls off. And he just looks up, and he's like, hey, man. <laughs> I needed that. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did he actually like speak? No, 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 no. He just how he looks. And uh, after you is now Mimi Dank. Okay. Mimi grasps his trusty paddle <laughs> tightly, and he rushes furiously for the last gnome standing, and hits it straight. Head. Oh, well, there's two still standing. Oh, there's two still standing. Yeah, there's okay, one well, with I'll one go arm. The one missing a hand. Then. All right. Roll to hit. Is he proficient with paddles? Uh, improvised weapon. I, I, I'm going to say no. At least not yet. Maybe, like, if he keeps using it. Okay, so just. Okay, so he no, just adds just a strength, strength, yeah. Okay. A 10, that hits. Uh, roll that 1d4 plus uh, your strength. I swear, if you, just, if you get all four and you just bat his head away. All right, you see <laughs> you see, uh, Mimi Dank. He's a little short, so he kind of he's grabbing the end of the paddle. But the top of the paddle hits the knoll, and the knoll kind of like spins around, and now it's facing the other way. It's still standing. It's just not facing you guys anymore. And then we move over. Well, that was anticlimactic. <laughs> How did the two strongest characters not make kill a single knoll? I know, I know, and we didn't even open a single door. Next, we have Strudel Kitty. <laughs> Update, Come brother, here, the you one. evil little zombie. I am a dragon, and I like electricity, so I am going to shoot electric mouth beams at your face. Okay, so you're using breath weapon? Get him, tiger. Uh, breath the, what's I'm the... a dragon, not a tiger, <laughs> on his gender. What's the, what's the DC save uh, for Strudel? 11. 11. 11. Okay. Yeah, I'm 11. All right. So shut the fuck up. I'm gonna need uh, Mimi, Jang, Slim, oh, and Single Nugget to make oh a. What is I'm it? A con? I'm about to blow the fuck up. Is it a, a con what? save, Strudel? What do we roll? What? What do we roll? Uh, a save to a save to a spell. A Constitution saving throw, I think. Oh, okay. Wait, did he check or like? Oh, do I have to look this up? Yeah, uh, he's he's blasting your ass with lightning. Dragon born. Me and Falu both rolled 17. Alright. <laughs> uh, I need Slim and uh, a Single Nugget to roll me a Constitution saving throw. Ooh. Slim, you have plus one in Constitution. Oh, no. Already so. 18, Woo! all right, uh, I need you to roll me 2d6, uh, Shrill Kitty. How comes I'm the only person that didn't get 17? <laughs> <laughs> What's my modifier for this? Uh, it's just 2d6. Just oh, okay, no modifiers, guys. Miss me with that lightning shit. Ooh, seven, okay. Yeah. All right, so you guys take half damage, so that's three. Uh, Sam, you unfortunately take the whole brunt of seven damage. <laughs> Wait, and the rest of us take <laughs> have seven <laughs> take three. You just see <laughs> lightning come from Strudel Kick, uh, Kitty as he screams. 
like like a Pez dispenser of lightning bolts just kind of starts coming out. <laughs> and the, one, one of the zombies he hits, like that one that uh, Mimi hit with the one arm, uh, it's just turned around. It didn't see it coming. It just gets zapped and then turns into powder. And you just see two eyeballs like fall on the powder. <laughs> and then the other zombie gets shocked. And it's shaking like when Gavelt was holding it. Uh, you guys are kind of singed, but single nugget, he's looking pretty rough. He's like, you know how Bugs Bunny walks out of an explosion? That's how single nugget looks right now. He's he's just covered in black, and he's walking. Uh, Sorry, single. I'm a it was actually... Wait, he's blue? It's a deck save. Oh, on here I had con, my bad. We'll just we'll just play it out for that one, and then we'll fix it la later for or in the future. What's uh, his HP though? I, I would I like to do another lightning bolt to heal single. Wait, no. <laughs> it, I think that's how it works. You can move. You can make no, a movement no, no, no. movement action. Oh, but that's it for right now. I would actually die, and then I'd have to travel all the way back <laughs> from wherever I. You don't even know if he died yet. I'm Take that, speed. zombies. There we go. Oh, we don't have a cleric. Oh, Are yeah. there any more zombies left? Uh, yes, there is one that's shaking, and you guys hear some on the other side of camp. Because of the screaming from the lightning, they're now moving uh, toward you guys. Hell yeah. You see that you see that you see that you you see that belt. You can't have any control your power. Who are you calling an idiot? You can't even cast a spell properly. <laughs> At least my lightning bolts are effective. You do nothing. First of all, that isn't even. Hey, you think about what just stared at her? You're serious. <laughs> anyway. You want to catch these bolts? Uh, well, at least he didn't yell, brace yourselves. <laughs> it's now Baloney's turn. Baloney, Can... finish off that zombie. Can Baloney like, Crisis actually use Healing Word on um, <laughs> Single Nugget? Uh, yes, you can. All and right. that's 1d4 just... plus your uh, Charisma modifier. Plus my Charisma? Yep. Do you need to tell you what that is? Plus three. It's a 3. I got it. I and that was help. a d20 you said? No, uh, 1d4. 1d4 plus 3. By the way, I am keeping track of everyone's uh, health case. Two can screws up. Oh, I'm not keeping track. You guys just tell me when you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm keeping track of everyone's. I still even have... Well, I'm, like, I'm, like, I'm dead. Our job to keep track of our own health. Yeah. So what is Nuggets, what is nuggets health, really? Nuggets health right now is four out of eleven. Eleven out of what number? Are we supposed to know okay. all these you get, each other's health? Uh, you just hear the the sweet sound of bagpipes, a uh, single nugget, coming from Baloney, and you you just like a new man. You guys just see that like single shake, and that soot comes off, and he's he's shiny. That's he's got all glowing. seven. He's got all seven of those hit points back. Hey, single, you're glowing. Oh, wow. Does Baloney get an attack now? Uh, you look beautiful. No, that was her action. That was the spell. You look she like can a make a movement. chicken nugget. Does uh, Baloney have a my, weapon? My stream broke up. What did you say happened? I'm sorry. Uh, you healed uh, single nugget completely. But that was your action. Yeah. And now it's yeah, Dawn's yeah. turn. Who knew the emo kid? Who knew uh, the emo kid would be so helpful? Don walks up to the last knoll, and he, you guys, you guys haven't seen this weapon before, and like for the players and people at home, he takes out a little uh, flintlock pistol. What? Ooh. And he's, oh my what god! Is that? This, I'm, sw I, I forgot. I'm using a different dice for Don. Um, all right. So Don's not a lucky man with that dice and he's not a lucky man with that one either all right um he walks up to the knoll 
and pistol whips it. What? <laughs> Whip it real good. Yeah, he walks up and hits it with the pistol. Doing yeah. one damage. You showed that no. <laughs> the <laughs> Is that how you use that? He, he kinda hits it on the side of the face. And then it looks back at the Oh, I think I screwed up. And now it's the zombie's turn. The zombie's rolling to hit him. No, not. Oh, Zombie got a nat 20. Oh my god. Dawn. Dawn is dead again. Holy shit. Is there a way? Hold on. How many health points does Dawn have? <laughs> I'm rolling for the Not zombie lit. real quick. He gets. No, he's gone if he dies. He's, gonna crit. He's, he's rolling 2d6 plus 1 because of crit. Oh no. Okay. Uh, Dawn gets hit with 7, da seven damage. You just see. This zombie rolling, like tearing into Don on the ground, and he's like, "Oh my God, help me, help, help me, help me!" And now it <laughs> the weak it goes to Hideki. Oh, it's my turn. Yep, this zombie is biting Don right now. Damn it, Keith. Take it, Don. Hideki runs up to it and like tries to pry the zombie's mouth off of Don. You're okay. You're reaching into the mouth. No, he's like... Just push him off. Try and push yeah, him off. pushing off. Okay, um... Roll... I don't even know what to like. <laughs> roll athletics for me. And I'm gonna roll for... I'm gonna roll for Dawn and the zombie, too. Okay, that's... That's fair. Athletics. Okay, Dawn got 13. The zombie got 16. What did you get? Actually, the zombie got 17. I forgot to add it. Oh, no. You cannot get the zombie off of off of Don. Um, Somehow, okay, you know how those little, like, uh, I don't even know, like, smoke clouds are, like, fighting? That is Hideki, Don, and the zombie now. In one of those little clouds wait, of, like, wrestling. But would, 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 um, do, would, um, the zombie, like, have any clue that Hideki was charging towards it? No, he was just rolling athletics versus the zombies' athletics to get him off of Don. Um, Wait, and did Don get an attack roll? Uh, yeah, he pistol whipped the zombie. Okay. Uh, you and guys are now in. The, you are now mid wrestle with the zombie Hideki. Um. I guess I pull out the dagger that I have. And okay, so... <laughs> Alright, uh, I'm going to say roll an attack with disadvantage. My disadvantage? You guys are wrestling, and Don's so, in there too, so you might hit him. Okay, boy. What? What would my disadvantage be in this? It's just a two rolls, oh, right, and you yeah. take the lowest roll. Okay. Do you have proficiency with daggers? Uh, oh, no. God. Wait, wait, actually, 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 hold on. I actually, like, looked this up, and, like, um, does, does Dawn count as, like, cover? No. Okay. No. no the only thing worse than that would be a one. So you would have... Oh. Freaking, <laughs> alright, uh, you so swing... So that would be a seven... A seven and a nat twenty. Yeah, you're swinging and you you're not hitting anything, Hideki. All right, um, it is now Gav or no, it's now singles turn and you're feeling like a new man, but you see that little like uh, smoke cloud of fighting in front of you. He and then now a dagger's in the mix. <laughs> Don't try to talk again. I'm because they're all acting like idiots. I'm just gonna. <laughs> Throw the plank of wood at them. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Roll to hit. As an extra uh, weapon. Roll to hit with your dex uh, mod. They're like right there. Dex mod is three. You know. Oh gosh. Oh. Seven. Alright. Uh. The zombie now has a plank in, oh in, in one of its hands. Uh, no. <laughs> Anyone else want to throw the weapon? All right. <laughs> now, oh. now it's Gavel's turn. Oh. 
about what the hell is going on <laughs> 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 this monster will end <laughs> you know you see I'm, I'm debating on what you should do oh my god <laughs> wait would a spell without a DC save work you'd hit all Single three of them finds it hilarious um, and Don's already taken seven so does damage. Kitty Think about, but uh, you, you think about, I'm... <laughs> hey, Decky, you're loyal, <laughs> like you're killing me, man. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> this nonsense will end. <clears throat> All right, you see him about to, mm. I'm just <laughs> right now. Uh, I'm like, he looks like he's about to cast a magic missile spell. He looks like it. <laughs> how, how do you Good look belt. like about it? Yvette, what are you doing? He has his hand now. So the problem is, I don't think, I'm trying to figure out how Magic Missile will work. <sighs> That's fucking retarded. Eventually, <laughs> you know what you I can? Mean, I know you can hold your turn history. and let Slim do something. I do. There is one thing I could do, but it's stupid. You know, too, Ken, I never did tell you I traded out that spell, right? I never did. You know? It's not like any of us are doing anything smart. Which which spell are you trying to use? I'm debating between Shocking Grasp and uh, Magic Missile. I'm, no, fuck that shit. I'm just going to use Chill Touch because it works. No, it'll, Grab, apply, wait, it'll, it'll apply to all of them. Yeah, you're going to hit all three of them. Oh, it won't. I would not hit Dawn for more because we, we would lose a life. And then our Nick is gone. Win win. Me. If I use shocking oh, let me see. Let me see how shocking grass works. Even though that's gonna put I'm gonna say like if you cast a spell on the, like it's gonna hit them because they're like within like they're right next they're like on top of each other. You got Jesus. Dawn, I mean, look... Zombie, Sandwich, Hideki. Like <laughs> this is uh... This is a bad sandwich right now. And Don's being bit. Uh-huh. Um, you see Gavel noticing the situation that there is no spell. And uh, you see <clears throat> Gavel. Can I actually... What level is the spell real quick? Look at the card. Hold on. True strike. It's probably level one. And there's a cantrip. Um, you see... Um, Gavelt. Is there a point? Is there a point? Okay, fine. You see Gavelt true strike the zombie. As in, like, you know... <clears throat> you see him just a glimpse in his eye just analyze that zombie. Alright, the zombie's armor class is 8. You know, you see him just looking at the... You see him looking at that. You see him looking at Mimi Day. Attack it! I'll kill them all right now. Alright, it is now Slim's turn. <sighs> So if I <clears throat> attempted to attack it, would how would disadvantage work? Just like two rolls, or would it be three rolls because of the third person? Yeah, disadvantage would be two rolls. <laughs> Depends on what you're trying to do. Like, if you throw something, okay, you're just gonna attack it with the dagger. No, 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 no. no. Well, not, not like, not for sure. Just like. If I would attack it, it'd just be like two rolls? Yeah. If I would throw it, would it be two rolls as well? Nope, but you're hitting... If you hit above their armor class, you're hitting them too. Oh. I'm... Uh, I'm gonna attack. Alright. Roll with disadvantage. Alright, that's one. 18 on the first one. Okay, and then just not Seven a net on the one. Second. Oh right. my god. Uh, it's a net one. Oh no! Alright, Slim I now uh, joins the brawl. And. Oh. You just. Holy shit. <laughs> the zombie now has his dagger. So you see the zombie this is with why. the. Like biting Dawn, and he's got a plank in one hand, and Slim's dagger in the next hand, and Hideki and Slim are like trying to wrestle the zombie as he's biting Dawn. This is why I didn't approach. 
<laughs> and now we're going but, to but Jang's turn. A weapon. So Jang just kind of looks at that and says, Yeah, no, I'm not going to contribute to that. <laughs> you think I'm just... You think I'm... Get it off, get it off. You think about what you you idiot! Get it off! I'm shouting at them all about. <laughs> you might as well throw something at us. It's not like it has any extra arm <laughs> to catch stuff. <laughs> Can I roll perception to see what you said? There were going. There were more coming at us. Can I roll perception to see like how close they are? Yes. So you're kind of looking at looking by beyond the uh, <laughs> the pile of smoke and fighting. You just 21. see like every once in a while, Hideki's head pops out of the smoke. You see Slim's head pop out of the smoke. <laughs> you see Don's pistol pop out of the smoke. He looks like he's cocking it. I was like, get it off me. Get it off me. <laughs> um, and you roll a 21. Uh, roll the 21. You see a good 10 zombies uh, oh. coming, and they're about, uh, I'd say, God. 40 feet away. Um, Guys, I don't think we can fight those. There's 10 more of them. We should be running. All right. You, if we can that. just get, if we can oh. just get that pile out of here, we if we can just separate that pile, we can run away. It's Mimi Tank's turn. Come on, Paddle Man. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> There's got to be one good roll in this. <laughs> Time to go on a killing spree. Small uh, man. Small man. Develop scared to make Like kill all. Sure. Them. <laughs> Come on, my fellow small man. Killed them all. For... Okay, for the last time, Mimi it grasps his paddle. <laughs> oh, he, no. You, you see him with, with one hand, like, do, like, uh, he locks on to the null, null and um, starts <coughs> running towards it. And attempts to hit the the null. All right, uh, roll with disadvantage for me. Both times, one d twenty plus five. I have a bad feeling about three. this. Holy it's shit! Plus this, three. This, I don't have any modifiers. This session is hard. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is a good oh, session. Oh, I Man. had a bad feeling about this. Do I, do I, okay, well, yeah, sure, let's see if I roll below three. So who's getting hit round the head with a paddle this time? Mm -hmm. Please. Well, we'll see. Please. Okay, thank you. Alright, okay. so it's a three. Mimi's now in the pile of smoke. No. Wait, that was... Ow. He just, like, swung, like... He approached, like, he got within range, He's, his range is five feet. Oh. oh no! And now there's a paddle just kind yeah. of floating around in there. <laughs> Mimi's just in there, rapidly swinging. Oh from my side gosh! Side. Like, all right, it is all right. Uh, Strudel Kitty, please don't kill Don. <laughs> it's your turn. <laughs> Why is this happening? Just lightning breath. No. <laughs> um. <laughs> just go for it. What is you're gonna kill Don? I don't want to. I don't want to kill anyone. You know, I, at this point. I'm, not, I'm worried like about first... one thing. Don's probably going to end up being like knocked over and trampled at the end of this with so many people. The whole time, Strudel Kitty was kind of just self-conscious about his body, and confused as to what to do. He looks to Baloney for advice, saying, Hey, Baloney, what do you think I should do in this situation? Baloney's probably the one person. Baloney refuses to respond, thinking that Strudel <laughs> is Bologna just... Baloney doesn't really version. know the abilities of a dragonborn, so... I will say, you can, can, you can try to sleight of hand Dawn out of there, Strudel. Let's do You'd that. You have to approach him, though. What? I'll approach him. Sure, right. I'm not scared of no ghost. No. Why, Dawn? Not, not the no. Oh, no. How would I roll for sleight of hand? 
Uh, just one d20 plus your modifier for sleight of hand. Uh, Why not the gnome? Oh, then then there will be no need for all oh, that. Nice. Alright, yeah, you can choose who you want to slide a hand out of there. My slide of hand is three. Plus three. You want... Please. Please take the gnome out. Please. Yeah, take the gnome out. Ah. Alright, I'll take the gnome the out. Null. The gnome. The gnome. Take the gnome. Alright, so you're grabbing the zombie? Not the gnome. I'm grabbing the There's zombie. No oh, man. Alright, I will... Alright. With my chubby oh, so, fingers. So you're gonna create okay. a new pile? <laughs> If you How grab the zombie, away. though, won't the other guys just randomly, like, it's so dusty, they're okay, going to just what should on. I do, people? <laughs> oh, that's right, that's right, just a go problem with, with everything. Well, do you have any I'd better say Don is the closest to dying, so you'd take him. I'm that's grabbing Don. Okay, right. sure. Let us all right. other Please. 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 Yeah, I on. say you have the best chance of doing something when it's Fuck. your turn. God. I couldn't do it, I actually oh, couldn't I actually called a five. That's hilarious. Oh my gosh. Alright. You just see Shrudo Kitty reach his hands in there to grab Don. <laughs> and he brings out he Mimi cold, Dank. <laughs> oh, oh, that works. That works. So Mimi Dank okay. is now out of the pile. But Don is still in there. That's the so, luck of the dragon. <laughs> can, I, can I try and talk to Baloney Crisis before she uh, takes her? Uh, go ahead, go ahead. I'll just say. I have a plan. So, I, you, if your plan is to cast is to cast uh, vicious, vicious mockery or uh, or uh, whatever your other spell is, then go for it. Because that's a spell that can't co possibly be uh, directed at someone else. Please. Yeah, just... yeah. Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> All right, your turn, Baloney. Okay, so if I cast the minor illusion with a sound, who all would that affect? Uh, what sound? Like, I don't know. Sound minor effects. illusion can do sounds. I know whistle. Yeah, know it whistle. says you create a sound or an image of an object within range that lasts for okay. the duration. But so if you create a sound, its volume can range from a whisper to a scream. It can be your voice, someone else's voice, a lion's or a beating of drums, or any other sound you choose. Okay, so what sound? And it what continues sound? unabated. What sound he wants you? to create Little a sound crazy. of um, a T-Rex roar, because everyone is kind of aware of a T-Rex presence right now. So he wants to create oh. an illusion of the roar to see if it might scare the gnolls off or oh, break up the fight. What if okay. you attract the mother? What if you attract the mother? Oh, Sorry. Yeah, you attract the mother. Don't. Yeah, don't. Stop the people in Stop the Just let her do it. Stop metagaming. You let me do magic missiles. Let her do that. Okay, right. then let's go ahead. Alright, so you cast so, the illusion? Yeah, what would I roll? A 1d20? No, no. It's, uh, it's, it's cast if it's in range. What's the range of it? 30 feet 30 feet all right so uh in that 30 feet around the dust thing i'm gonna say uh, everybody in the dust thing uh i want you to roll me a what what would that be what what is the dc on that uh on that spell 13 13 and what is it like a wisdom or it's a charisma all right charisma all right so everybody in the pile right now would roll a charisma saving throw Oh my dear! Should have rolled that for Don. Oh, 20. never mind. Same same roll. Okay. Uh, twenty. Twenty. All right. Modified twenty for Hideki. Slim eighteen. Uh, Don got a twenty-one, and then the zombie got a sixteen. So none of them think that it's real. Oh crap! So how come all the way. high rolls appeared now, but not actually when we were fighting? <laughs> By the way, uh, two kids, two kids. Yeah, so all, all, all this chaos is going on. All this chaos is going on. Gavel's keeping an eye on the oncoming uh, group of gang okay. lords over there. Yeah. So I'm like, there's ten of them, right? <laughs> yeah, they're they're uh, they're moving now, so they would have been without without a range to hear that, but now they're within range, oh, yeah, about how, twenty feet. In. So about how close? So yeah, so twenty feet. So, yeah, they're about Wait, 20 feet guys, in. Uh, it's Dawn's turn? Yeah, it's Dawn's turn, and then it's that zombie's turn. Let's, let's go, Dawn. Got this. 
And remember, that zombie has a plank of wood and a dagger. Oh my god, alright, you guys just see Don, uh, cock his pistol. And, let's see here. He shoots the zombie for eight fire damage. He just grabs it, the zombie's biting his shoulder, he aims behind him, and shoots. And the zombie falls over. And with the sound of the shot, the the pile stops. Uh, and you guys are all all down. Like, you guys are all prone right now. But there's 20 zombies. And Don's like, oh, my God. Why do I have a paddle in my hand? <laughs> like, he's got a gun and a paddle. <laughs> he gets up back, please? and dusts. Can I take dust off his uh <laughs> his self and he's going to use the other half of his movement to beeline it behind baloney savage or baloney crisis sorry i said your middle name <laughs> can, I, can i grab the dagger uh no it's not your the... turn oh damn it you guys are still in combat Wait. so uh do we want to fight or just the... run away Where's yeah, the other no They're about twenty like in the range of Baloney spell. Uh they're uh no, no, they, they just got in uh range oh, oh, on okay. their turn. Uh Don is using the rest of his movement to get behind the party. Uh, not doing that again. Uh he he pats Baloney on the shoulder. Hey, you got one one more of those uh healing spells <laughs> And then he like stays back there. Uh, you guys now have ten zombies moving towards you. Holy shit. <laughs> Who's moving it now? It is you starting say? over. It's Gavelts. It's Hideki's. <laughs> or Hideki, my bad. My mm -hmm. bad. Yeah, he's kind of prone, but he's probably going to get up. All right. Yeah. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm going to say make a make a perception check for me, uh, Hideki. Who? Me? Yes. Oh, okay. Sixteen. Right, 16. All right, you are. You you can't really place it, but you are. You kind of feel the ground shaking. Oh crap. Um. And I still see the zombies coming towards me, but I don't see anything else. Just feel the ground shaking. Uh yeah you you well you see the zombies the zombies are twenty feet away um their movement's twenty feet so next turn. Or next time Don goes, uh, there are not before. Uh, next time Baloney goes, like after Baloney, they will be within range of you guys. Um, but you hear, uh, or not hear, you feel the ground uh, tremoring. It's now your turn. I feel the earth. Let me make a roll move. real quick. Okay. All right. Um, I'll use um poison spray on them. Poison spray. Okay, uh, read it out for me. You extend your hand towards a creature you see uh, and project a puff of noxious gas from your palm. The creature must succeed on a constitution saving throw or take 1d12 poison damage. Okay, uh, roll it. Uh, did they not succeed the constitution throw? Um, then... then you spray, uh, you guys see Hideki spray his poison, uh, but the zombies are continuing to move forward. Uh, they have Which immunity. one did he hit? They they have immunity to poison damage. It, it doesn't matter. What? You, you see Gavelt. <laughs> you have much to learn. You have much to learn. Uh, much to learn. Single nugget, what is your <laughs> dex modifier? Dex plus three. Okay, it's your turn. It's your turn. Why would you skip me? Okay. okay let him go. No, he's before you. He's before you. Okay, but anyway, give out the comments. You have much to learn. <laughs> you well, since there's like an earthquake and stuff, can I just hide somewhere? Yeah, you can You can move to the back of the party if you want. Back of the bus. No, like straight up hide. Oh, you, oh roll stealth for me then. Uh, do we all feel the like the 
Uh, he, th- he, deck he did, but I'll just say, like, since he didn't say nothing, he relayed that to you. That he felt okay. shaking on the ground. Okay. Uh, um, roll for them. Uh, guys, yeah, what, do you, what right. do you think? Do you think a bu- do you think a bunch of gnolls can make the earth, earth tremble? Uh, zombies did not uh, see you hide. You are now stealth, a single. Um, and then after he goes, you guys all feel it now. And uh, through through the brush, you guys see an adult uh, Tyrannosaurus bust yep. through and stepping on five of the gnoll. Uh, Dylan, let me see where's my dice at. Yep, that's what I thought too. Cam was trying to do with that. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, I knew that would happen. Yeah, they're dead. Those five, they, they are, well, they're down. Uh, you see the T Rex just squash uh, five of them. Might be time to leg it. And roar. And yeah, the T Rex is kind of distracted by the zombies, and the zombies are kind of distracted by the T-Rex. So if you guys want to dip, uh, I'd say do it now. I just don't know where the party would want to go if you guys do want to okay. do that. You yeah, Bloody staying for uh, dipping. <laughs> I'm running as well. I am running. You think about it. Yep. Can you cast one spell before you Nope, no. We, no, are, no. I don't... We are well, running. Well, I'm dipping. Gabo, Gabo can him stay and like, we, no. we, I booked him on the shoulder. You see Gavelt's Prepare to cast magic missile. Then no, he was not going to cast magic missile. Well, he, was he, was not magic. he was actually. It didn't look like he was going to do anything yet. I'm just thinking he was about to cast spell. But you still, you see, Hideki grab Gavelt and start sprinting, as well as everyone. I mean, can it actually, can it actually stop him from casting the spell? That's the problem. All you have to do is suck some stuff. In. Oh, so you're casting a spell, Gavelt? Yeah, he can, it's a really quick spell that he can cast. But it's okay, like, you're busy trying to fight the giant Phoenix. Let's no, run. He's not going to try to fight it. This is, a, this is a quick action spell. It's a quick hand. It's a quick one spell. Thank what, God what, I'm what hiding. It depends, though. Do the zombies technically have souls? They're technically, they do. <laughs> uh, what what, what spell that? are you trying to cast? False. Life. Okay, false life. Uh, can you read it for me? False life. Control F. False life. False life. You know, <clears throat> all it takes is alcohol or distilled spirits. Zombies work. Bolstering yourself with necromantic fat mile of life, you gain 1d4 plus 4 temporary hit points for the duration. Which, this spell just doesn't take. This spell lasts an hour, and it's just one action. He can just run after that. Okay, so uh, you're casting on yourself, and you get... Yeah, uh, what it would look like, it would just look like you just... Like, you see some white, gooish ore just come off the come off the body that was around him, or the bodies that are around him start going to his mouth. Okay. <laughs> well, let me roll that... Uh, I, Yeah, he just cast that spell. It doesn't require a roll or anything. I gained 1d plus 4. I can yeah. roll, so I think 1d4 yeah, plus help. 4. It's at Rory Health, so right now my hope is at 8. Is that 4? So, roll. 1d4 plus 4. Oops. <laughs> roll. 1d4 plus 4. Baloney looks over to Don and asks, Is that the dinosaur that was by the wall that you mentioned before? Uh, uh yep. And it should not be I here, so I'm running. Uh, it got a five. I got uh, a five. Okay, okay, so... Gilel Does this has mean five, we are able to make it past the wall now, though, since it's no longer there? We got... Uh, we try. And uh, you see Don uh, stealthing. Hold on. Let me roll for him. You guys roll stealth, too. Oh, my... So now Everyone I have five. Stealth. So now I have eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen health, I think. Eight. Thirteen, if I add five to that uh, eight health, I think. Everyone's rolling stealth? Yeah, stealth to get passes on. Actually, like, Don rolled bad, so you guys, I would just recommend you guys run. Like, <laughs> right, now you seek a vote. You seek a vote. I run. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we run. run. We run. Yeah, we run. Like, Don tried to lead, and instead of stealthing, he, like, you know, one of those classic, like, twig snaps happens, and then all the zombies, like, look toward him, and he's like, 
See you guys later in dips. <laughs> Starts <Yeah>. running. <laughs> You see it happen once, then like after he breaks the first twig, he's chasing the second step forward, and he breaks another twig. <laughs> yeah, he did. He rolled a two for stealth <laughs> on the die. I guess it would be a uh, a seven, but yeah, the the zombies definitely noticed him. So all of us are running. I assume back to the supply cabinet. Uh, Don Don ran toward the uh, the wall. We're running towards the wall. Yeah. Oh yeah! Oh wait, yeah. The supply cabinet's where the baby is. Yep. You guys definitely don't want to go back that way. You was thinking about about Noah saying, "Are we all running in separate directions?" It seems like everybody's panicking. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're all running in the same direction. Yeah, you guys yeah. run toward toward the we're wall. We're following Don. Following Don. All right. And uh, I'm just gonna say, like, you guys get toward the entrance to where the forest like kind of ends, and you guys see this gigantic wall uh it's split in half and uh don explains to you that this wall was built by the ancestors of the gnolls to keep uh and behind behind the wall you see like a tall mountain he's like that's a volcano uh, they built this wall to keep the lava from flowing on the forest so the forest could grow um on the other side of this wall there's a lot of lava and on the side of the volcano is where we need to go. There's uh there's like some kind of like old hag in there. Uh, Me. She, she's uh she's been I, like I don't know what's going on now because this is way different than when I went through here. Uh, apparently she yeah. was controlling the gnolls to bring her sacrifices, but uh, they're zombies and I don't understand what's going on. Let's take a vote. Do we have an, Do we have any other choice? Looking at him, do we have any other choice at this moment. Looking at looking back at that direction of where they ran from. Uh, nope. <laughs> Tom whistles as he walks forward. I ain't going back there. Sounds fun. Most Let's go. Oh, most certainly not. He says, uh, "I agree." Most certainly not. From one hell to another. And uh, at this point, I'm going to let you guys take a break. If anybody's got to go to the bathroom, get a drink or anything, I'm going to say um, like, like a five to ten minute break. Get your drink I have to wake like up really early tea, right? tomorrow. Oh, that's that's cool. Uh, I have to go. Yeah, I can I can that's like kind of play your character out too. That's yeah. Thank you. No no problem. I'm sorry that I was kind of subdued tonight, guys. Oh, you're good. No, but it was nice having you here. Oh, one of us could kill him. Thank God. <laughs> you did say okay, I'm staying just to you fuck you with single. <laughs> you did say I would like Mimi. to shoot another lightning bolt. Oh, no. Straight at no. single. I'm just kidding. All right, I'm going to go, guys. All right. Bye, hey, Charles. thanks for joining us, Swabs. Thanks for hosting. Sorry. Bye, sorry. Well, we got kind of caught up in a, like, I don't even know what to call it, like, old Looney Tune style, like, brawl with a yeah. zombie. <laughs> We're still I, I, here. It's been, like, an hour. Oh, after something. We're still here with these zombies. No, you guys ran away from the zombies. You guys are at the entrance by the walls oh, on the map. Phew. Finally. Okay, yeah. On that note, since I can't really run that well, given my body, I'm going to go. You, you, you guys just <laughs> see uh, Strudel Kitty slink back into the forest on a vine. He's like <laughs> Spider-Man in it in the forest. Bye. <laughs> yeah, I think it's still I think it's still better for us to just go inside, since even Dawn uh, wrote goal there. So would it be metagaming to ask if the T Rex was in range when I did that attack, or that not attack, but that illusion? Uh, it was not in range. Like e even okay. the five novels weren't in the range. Yeah, the zombies weren't in the range. Um, let me see what. So we're we're this talking. About I was trying now. to break up the cloud, like the dust cloud fight, though. So. Yeah. Yeah, you did so that. So we're talking like out of out of game, right? We're talking in break now, right? Yeah, it's it's break yeah. time. I'm about, I'm about to, oh, oh, okay. to use the bathroom. I'll be okay, right back. Well, damn guys, well damn guys, can't get belt get a drink of some nice good soul. God damn. Did <laughs> <laughs> a guy get a drink? <laughs> we'll cast magic missile. No, I describe what action so, um, does for each spell. 
I'm assuming that before we ran away, we picked up our weapons and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Can I get my paddle from Don? Uh, I mean, I don't... Yeah, Don wasn't going to carry it. that, so he gave it back to you. I mean, we got to wait till we uh, start the game, but yeah, yeah, you got the paddle back for sure. Yeah. God damn, boy, you got some horrible rules tonight. Holy shit. Uh, I think everybody did. Like, that was, I mean, I know it was with disadvantage, but God, that was, that I did not expect it to be that long. I'm getting some, I'm getting some decent rolls tonight. God damn. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm getting some decent rolls One of these days, oh. Loyal's going to get I'm a good thinking. Eldrick Blast off. I'm sick and tired. I'm sick and tired. I'm sick and tired of this. I'm pissed about disrespect of Velkins in this damn game. Are you gonna call me useless when you just saw the tiefling barely got the spell like twice? <laughs> oh, that was Schlubs. He wasn't even here last. Like I don't know why he did that. I'm like Schlubs. That's like that doesn't make no damn. Well, I guess it makes sense for his character. I'm like, bro. Don't be like, excuse me. <laughs> Gavelt was pissed. <laughs> he did that turbo thing. <laughs> Damn, but at least at least I got the extra HP. That is good. Thank God. I'm like, yeah, let me cast that. That's the second spell slot fills. So I only have two spells I can technically use now: magic missile and false light. You do have an ability to a trait where you can uh, restore one of those. I saw. Okay. That could only, yeah, that, that only happens during rest, doesn't it? Is this not rest? No, it's not rest. Nah, this is intermission. It's just a break basically. for, like, everybody to use the bathroom and stuff. We're still moving. But holy... I'm, I'm, but I'm looking at your features. Oh, wait, when you finish a short rest. Yeah. Uh, you yeah. used, you've used three spell slots, give out. I used, uh, I've been using cantrips a lot. Oh, wait, so which, what, what are your cantrips? Six. Chill might, touch is a cantrip. Uh, I know magic miss magic missile and uh, false life or spell. Yeah, that's was two. true strike a spell or no? True strike a cantrip. A cantrip. All right, that's where I got confused. Then never mind. Yeah. So I we would be at the know. north wall right now, right? Um, you guys are on. You are like at that entrance down there at the bottom where the dirt lets out, and uh, you're by the south wall. You guys are like. In, like the south walls in front of you. But I say we wait for Mimi and Slim to get back. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm not. I'm. We still got four minutes, and I gotta use the bathroom, so I will be back. Oh, holy shit! <laughs> God damn, Gavel is not pleased with fucking Becky right now. Are you serious? <laughs> I can't cast one damn spell. <laughs> Boy, need lessons. <laughs> You need less than magic. You need less than All of y'all need less than magic. Well, some of them do. Kitty can't control his magic, can't control his power. He he can't fire. <laughs> okay. Well, whatever. It's been a good game so far. What do you guys think? Hello? I must be disconnected. Oh, no, you're still here. Everyone just vanished to go and do something, I suppose. Okay. This is hilarious. This game's funny. <laughs> what is happening? No, I wasn't going to cast Magic Missile. Give me a chance. I just wanted to, incre just wanted to increase his natural lifespan. Increase his lifespan for a little bit. Crafty. <clears throat> crafty. Part of his he's crafty. It should be known that right now I have a bendy straw going into an entire thing of an entire half gallon of chocolate milk. I'm gonna put the number thirteen right next to the like next to the seventy right next to the uh thirty-four on my name temporarily because it lasts an hour. The spell lasts an hour. So, depending on when two can decide to engage me in something else. All right, I'm back. So yeah, just just keep just keep track of time, two can, because my extra hit points only last an hour. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, if you guys like wanted to rest here, that it would, 
get rid of those. But yeah, that defense they really want to rest in this area, which I don't. I'm not sure if they want to, but okay, we'll see. Um, um is everybody honestly, back? Yeah, I don't think they need. Uh, to. I'm, hold on, I'm about to like use the bathroom really quick. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Remember, remember the wipe. Because <laughs> other than the few people that took free damage, the only other injured person is Don. Don, and, and he Don. took seven. Actually, no really... because of Schlub's lightning strike, I. Uh, Jang, Slim, and Mimi all took three damage, and single, you actually got fully healed up, didn't you? Yeah, he did. That, that's yeah, what he was, was saying. Healed. He was saying you guys took three, and then Don took seven from that zombie's initial attack. And oh. since we don't exactly care about Don, I think we'll just leave him. Oh my god. Oh, I'm, I'm actually curious, how much how much health does a Don have, like, like base health? You guys don't know. I'm not allowed to know. I want to keep... Fine, I guess you're keeping track. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep track of the NBCs. I'm keeping track of everyone else. I have... Let me check real quick. What's my main HP? Make sure I did my mouth right. Uh, your base points. HP is 8. Yeah, 13 is the number. 13 is the number. I have 13 HP at the moment, and it'll decrease back to 8. So right now, Gabel just has like, this glowing, grayish, whitish magic aura around him after he sucked up those souls. But he looks not. Technically, you have the most health in the party right now. Mm -hmm. uh, no, he doesn't. Oh, no, it's a 13. Well, I have to say. Yeah, it's, it's You're, uh, you have the same health as him, Falu. Yeah, yeah, I do. For, for an hour. For an hour, yeah. Yeah, Gavelt's the best tank in the party right now. That's not much. <laughs> What's his AC? Well, I guess oh. 13, I guess. Yeah, I think Gavelt's uh, AC is 13. Yeah. Your AC is 14, Falu, and Gavelt's AC is 13. Yeah. Oh, uh, since wait. since Or comes back up, I can use my character sheet again for Dawn. And Dawn sure yeah, Orc has been up for a while. I've been yeah, using I, thought I thought y'all would have been using that. I'm like, why are y'all still asking when Brad still was up? Like, I just made the sheet so I kind of know what he's got. Okay, yeah, I was I was right. Oh my gosh. This is one. Of, this has to be one of the best sessions yet. Are we still streaming, by the way? Yeah, we're still streaming. We're just waiting on Loyal. Loyal's uh, using the bathroom real quick. I'm back. How many okay. Views, how many views that, do we have? How, was... how many views do we have? Five? We five. We were at six for a little while. But I think most of the views come on YouTube anyway on the, like, uh -huh. uh, archives. Because there's, there's like, some big D&D uh, &D campaigns going down on Tuesday. So people probably watch them. This was just the best That's time good. for everybody. It's all good. It's all good. Anyway. Is Slim back? Hey, Tukang, could you actually link me to your uh, YouTube? YouTube? Yes. Um, anyway, no, I haven't heard from Gold. He's taking forever as usual. It should um, be in member content. Uh, scratch my back. Isn't it in the, in the streams? Oh, yeah, it's, oh, there's a video in member content. Yeah, the previous chapters in the... Yeah, I, I, I was just going to post the, like, channel link in, uh, in our voice chat general. I'm subscribed to you. Hey, I appreciate it. What the hell? All our uh, archives should be Gavelli. going there. If I be decky about that would talk. What the hell going on with your magic? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what the insane hell? I'm about to get talk of this shit. Because this magic, we, you, some of you don't have to control your magic. <laughs> control your power. This is ridiculous. You need to learn how to transmute focus. <laughs> focus. Who is he talking to? 
He would be, this would be happening in the session. He'd be talking to a decade like that. Unless we're portraying this stuff now. Wait, I just realized something. Where the hell did Baloney Crisis get bagpipes from? Uh, that was his order. Uh, Don wasn't there to make his order, so he got the order whatever he wanted. Which, are those are those bottles still with us, or do they just randomly appear whenever we like, or do we wish for the order? Uh, you guys will find that out next time you get back. I see. Okay. So Baloney knows how to make an order, but anyway, I guess that's something a character could ask. In yeah. Game. Yeah. So is everyone back, or are we still waiting on Goat? Um, I think everyone but Goat is back. Okay, so uh, we can start Goat that. said just start. Okay. I guess something's going yeah. on. Uh, Alright, uh, you guys approach. You guys see the south wall, and this thing is huge. Like, we're talking, like, skyscraper tall. The But the mountain behind it, like, the volcano dwarfs the wall. Well, that's got, climbing it out the window. It's uh, it's feeling hot right now. Like there's active magma oh falling down the volcano side. Hey, two kid, I'm not actually trying to do this, but like I was seeing if I would like just kind of joking around. I was rolling to myself to climb the wall. Like I just kind of rolled out. I just kind of like roll on my personal dice whenever I want to do something. I rolled a nat twenty. Oh. I, but I'm not actually yeah. climbing the wall. I just thought. I just I'm about to say, isn't there an all damn magma moat before you get to the fucking wall? But okay. I, I just thought I'd point that out, but I'm not actually. Well, well this is um, a nice stream. If we said something stupid, I'm sure they'll point out that it's stupid and not actually let us do it. <laughs> um... Like, if I, if I said my character was going to go for a swim, I'm sure they'd say no. All right, God. you guys approach uh, the south wall, and uh, on down, you see where the north wall begins, and there is a break in the wall right there. Uh, can I take a step? Can I uh, be the first one to take a step into it? Oh, you want to? You want to walk? Can we okay. make a perception roll for traps or anything? Such? Yeah, for, take. Can I take? Can I? Uh, it'd be an investigation. Well, well, I, I guess I'll see, say the party moves up there uh, toward the uh, the break in the walls, the little entryway into the cavern. Um, and then uh, you guys investigate the pathway to the side of the cavern. The, like, it's... You guys ever seen, like, those uh, narrow pathways? You know, like, on Kingdom... Like, where they're walking up the hill with the tribes yeah, to yeah. meet. Yeah, that's, like, kind of what you guys are going to have to walk up to get to the uh, entryway. But across, it looks like a line of solidified uh, magma has formed a bridge. Okay, can the bridge hold all of our weight? I guess, I guess so. Um, I guess Individually. Make, yeah, investigation check. Mm. Okay. Or I guess you could just try it. Can I make an investigation check based off the uh, temperature of the bridge so it won't burn us? Uh, yeah. Uh, can I just walk on the bridge and walk forward? Okay, okay well, let me... They said theirs first, so I'll go ahead and let them, and then Hideki's going to walk across. I don't know when he walks. You see Gabo. Well, I guess I'm just kind of... That's well, I guess we'll see how he, how it goes for Hideki. Twelve for Jing, and then a seven for Slim. I'm guessing investigation. Uh, all right, uh, Hideki will walk across, and uh, as Hideki gets across to the edge, but you guys see that magma or that solidified uh, magma bridge just turn into lava. Hideki's on the other side, and you guys are uh, over the or. Uh, you guys are on the side of the or the forest side, and Hideki is on the uh, cavern pathway up to the up to the goal. Well, well, bye. See you, though, reckless child. Can Baloney Crisis roll a perception check to check the area around them? Um. Yeah. Go ahead. 
How big? How how big is the cat? Hey, cat? Uh, hey uh, Sam, would you be okay with being thrown again? Why you do that? Um, Don, I'm rolling for Don. Don stepping back. Holy, gee, oh my god! I need a dice cam. Like I need a dice cam. I rolled a thirteen. Don just nat twenty this jump across the cavern. Damn. Like Don, you just see this man jump. Like, like you know, people vaulting over the little uh, things in, in Olympic. But yeah, he does that kind of jump over the cavern. That uh, that's about a uh, twenty foot jump, and he lands right by Hideki. He kind of stumbles and then walks forward, pats himself on the uh, shoulders, and he's like, "Yeah, I don't need that bridge." <laughs> it walks past Hideki. So they can't. But anyone tell how stable the bridge was? Or did the uh, bridge it's break? gone. It's gone. So Maloney rolled a thirteen on a perception on a perception check. Uh, you see lava flowing down. Um, there's like trees behind you. Um, but not really anything you can like throw in there to walk across or try to go across. Maybe maybe vines as a ropeway if you can get a like sturdy enough vine over to Don and Hideki. Or you could just jump like Don did. No. Unless we get enough. The only time we've had to jump over gaps, we've rolled nat 20s. Have you realized that? No, I didn't realize that. Uh, I do uh, not trust the front. Hey, single. What are you guys as waiting I pick, for? As I pick him up. Oh, God. It's either not... this or the T-Rex behind you. I'm guessing they're kind of using this place as a home because of the heat. T-Rex? I guess I'm going to be prepared to use the paddle to catch myself in case he throws me very terribly. Okay, so, you, okay, so you're going to let uh, Jane throw you? And I've got the paddle ready just in case I... Oh, so you have the paddle? Next. What's the paddle going to do? What? No, no, the paddle. The, the plank. Oh, okay, the plank. Okay. It's What's pretty the much the paddle. All right, all right. I'm going to let this play If I slightly miss, uh, if I uh, slightly I miss, I might try to save myself. Hideki, get ready to catch him. You see Don look over, Hideki, like, you don't trust me? <laughs> <laughs> roll a, roll a athletics. Oh no! Sixteen. 16. All right. Yep. You see, Jang starts spinning, uh, holding, uh, like spinning with while holding single by the feet, and then he lets go, and the single flies through across. Um, I'm going to roll an athletics check for Don. Go ahead and roll an athletics, Hideki, to help him. What a oh, low roll, I knew this was going to come back on me. Would a low roll hinder him? Or... Is someone getting hit around the face with a plank? Uh, but... Don's getting hit with that plank. 19. Yeah, Hideki catches you. Don catches the plank with his face. <laughs> and okay. he's getting hit. Does that count as an attack from me, though? I'm just going to roll a d4 for damage. He's getting hit. How much oh, health does, does this man have? Let me see if he's dead or not. Oh, no, he's... All right, he's he's actually okay. All right, he took four damage. But... He's not looking too hot. He's on the ground. Oh, Is he within range for Lee. a baloney crisis to do healing word he's on him? He's 20 feet away. So if it's within Let's 20 feet, see. yeah, if, it, if it's within 20 feet, you can use healing word on him. He's lying down on on the pathway now. Oh, range is 60 feet, so. Okay. Yeah, yeah so that's a 1d4 plus my charisma. charisma. Yep. He took seven damage from the skeleton, right? Yeah. Not skeleton. Yeah, so he, yeah. he's at a total of eleven or eleven damage right now on him. Oh, 
Oh man, full My healing. My God, it's all crack. right. Like he gets held. He gets held seven. Oh, thank you, thank you, you little dark lad. I, I don't know your name. Um. <laughs> My name's Blue. And he looks at he looks at uh single nugget in that plank. Man, I just don't have luck with uh those things. Uh, gnomes, I mean gnomes. There was uh, there was like one gnome gal that came across here. She didn't much like me though. And then he takes a sip of rum. Come out, sigh. If we fail the jump, are we dead? Um. Shoot, I mean, roll for it. We'll see. If you roll, get roll in athletics. And what I'm assuming is if we get something that would get you all the way over, then someone on the other side could possibly save you. 11 on. Okay, uh, uh, all right. Uh, I need Hideki and uh, Single to make a strength saving roll. And Don's making one too. Okay, a actually, never mind. You guys don't need to. Uh, Jang hits the edge of the pathway and Don grabs her. He he got a uh, seventeen with his modifier, and uh, which is <sighs> it's negative one for his strength. So he rolled an eighteen on the die. <laughs> you hear Jang just kind of exhale and like kind of squeal in angst. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, you made it. And he pat your back. All right, who's next? Like, or y'all want to try I something imagine, else? You should give up. I imagine you I landed up. on the side of it and I like kind of slipped off. Yeah, he, yeah, and he grabbed you. If Baloney Crisis tries to jump, can he use acrobatics instead of athletics? Uh, you're trying to do a flip. Yeah, like, it's the most. I'll do it. I'll do I'd it. If it was if it was any farther than twenty feet, I'd say athletics. But I'll I'll go with acrobatics. Hey, okay, so he he's gonna try. This is gonna be horrible. Okay, hopefully he doesn't. Anyway, anyway, you seek a vote. You jump before you jump before me. It's best if I go last for this. Oh, nat twenty, oh, yeah. baloney <laughs> crisis. That's a beautiful flip. Yeah, baloney crisis. Uh, We're all in all. Front flips across the and lands perfectly, with his uh with his arms out like a T, and uh, Don so Don claps. There's five out of hey, good one. Much better than the orc. Halfway. <laughs> <laughs> so so Mimi give, is uh, Don a light punch on the shoulder. So Mimi is alone with a skinny high elf. On the other side. Uh, Slim's over there too. Right now, oh, across oh, is it just these oh, five across? Single, Jang, Hideki, Baloney, and Don. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, and Strudel Kitty somewhere else. All right, I, I'm I'm thinking okay. of a plan. The elf, the elf doesn't look like he's too. Uh, what what do you call it? Athletic. The dwarf. Why don't you oh. try to throw him? Um, okay. Sure. Well, like, are you insane? Looking at it. <laughs> oh, it'll be fine. Come here, Grandpa. Come here, Grandpa. I'll toss you across. No, I really, I insist that we keep this picture up. I... This had better end well. All right, <laughs> roll, roll, uh, athletics. Who's rolling athletics? Uh, I'm looking forward to this. Uh, Mimi Dane. <laughs> Please. Please drop him. He's not one. Thirteen. Thirteen. All right. Uh, Gavelt, I'm gonna need you to roll acrobatics for me to try to stick the landing. What a shame if he would fall into the lava. Is it twenty plus three? Uh, whatever your acrobatics uh is. Four. Oh, Nat one. No. <laughs> let me roll severity. That, that, that's a face first landing. Okay, let me roll. Okay, it wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad, the severity. Okay. Uh, you guys just see Mimi Dank overexert himself. He throws Gavelt, and Gavelt hits the side of the cavern. 
and kind of like slinks, oh. slinks down, and Don kind of like grabs him. See, everything's all right, and he kind of like rubs his head <laughs> and then stands I'm him up. How much damage did you take? Um, you took one one bludgeoning damage. So from thirteen to twelve. Twelve. Oh, damn it! Gavel <laughs> <laughs> just threw you face, just... face first into a rock. Hey, Gavel, he threw you just fine. It's your landing that sucks. Hey, it's better than lava. All right, who's next? <laughs> the water. My skull will not be intact by the end of this journey. Uh. uh... Oh, you just oh, yeah, had a knot the, on the back of your the head. That's the front of his uh, uh, head now, and that was the knot. Don kind of pokes at the knot from the paddle uh, on the back of Gavelt's head. Wait, what he happened? has the paddle. What? No, no, no. He's poking the knot that Gavelt got from the paddle. Oh, You think Gavelt, okay. kind of, you think like, tap, tap his hand away. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Uh, <laughs> so he said so thank you to... Um, uh, what's your what's your character's name? Follow is it Mimi? Yeah, Mimi. Yeah. You need to look at him. Thank you. <laughs> All right. No now, problem. Mimi and Slim are uh, cross. What does Mimi do? Uh, is it possible for a dwarf to just like oh, nonchalantly yeah. jump over this? Slim, uh, I would. Re Wait. What What were you gonna say, wow. Jane? What now? I'd say Slim would be able to do it. Like, it's maybe metagaming, but... So I'd yeah, say I know Slim. Slim definitely metagaming. Slim I know Slim, it. but me... Okay, never mind. Like, what What do your characters want to do? Like, Mimi, do you want to try to, like, jump it with athletics? Well, is it possible for a dwarf to do that? Yeah, yeah. Like, tw 20 feet jump. Oh, okay. Yep, go ahead. Go for it yeah. with athletics. All right, Gimli. All right, Gimli. All right, Gimli. All right, Gimli. <laughs> I think he hit his head a little too hard. He kind of whispers to Jane. Yes, no, you can do acrobatics. That's not what he said. That's not what he said. That's what I'm saying. Like, all right, Gimli. That's actually Vega talking. Okay. All right, so Mimi. Mimi, ta Mimi. Mimi takes a running running start. Grabs oh, his yeah, he paddle makes it. tightly. He vaults it. Oh my god, alright, so you guys see Mimi running, pushes his paddle Wee. into the ground and vaults with it, and paddle in hand, and lands in front of all you guys right by Gavelt. We keep forgetting to say what our roles are. Oh yeah, he rolled an 18. 18, yeah. 18 athletics. Uh, go. And, uh... Slim rode a 17 uh, acrobatics. Slim also makes it across. The whole party is across, and only Gavelt took damage. Uh, just one, so he's still above his max health. Hey, I'm Ooh. curious. When his spell goes away, is he going to go to eight health or seven? Uh, health? Nope, he'll stay at uh, he'll stay at eight. max health. Okay. Uh -huh. Unless he goes to like below eight. Yeah, health. below those extra hit points. Like when the spell wears off, uh, he'll still be well, full health if it's Well, that worked it. out somehow. Yeah, don't don't worry. Like I was gonna tell you guys to like make a rope bridge or something with vines. Like after I got over here, but you know what? It worked out. And then he like takes another sip of rum, and uh, lights a cigarette and starts walking uh, next to the wall. Like you see him kind of slinking next to the wall and walking toward the doorway. Now be very, very quiet, because uh, there may be a hag in here. Actually, you know what, with these zombies and stuff going, I don't know what's going to be in here, to be honest. Somebody, or something's wrong, because this is not what death went through. Like, death didn't do this. I don't know if that Perhaps orc is, is, like, missing stuff up, or what. Perhaps a tiefling would like to share some information about the god of death and his trickery. Nope. If you be so kind. There is one thing I've been thinking. This orc, right? Yes. Wasn't wasn't the uh, the person that once gave his life to save someone else also an orc? Uh, yeah, that's him. Yeah. 
I was surprised to see him this low, but I guess he's uh, looking for somebody. He showed me a picture of, uh, uh, I think it was a girl with uh, pink hair. I lied to him and told her I uh, told him I knew where she was. And uh, he, know, he found out. Why, why would you, know you do that? I thought he was going to kill me. Did you know who she was? Uh, no. Nope. Hmm. You are a dumbass. <laughs> Look, you get a seven foot tall orc. I haven't seen him other than in the cabin. Covered in blood? What do you, what do you want me to do? Think about where does this lead? Where does this cabin Imagine if the so called cab is that woman. That'd be hilarious. Um, we're, we're, we're gonna sneak in here. There's a hag. Or normal, normally, there's a hag that controls the gnolls. We're supposed to kill her, and then the gnolls are, will be, or would be no longer under her command, and they would stop attacking villages outside the forest to bring sacrifices to her. But since but the there's gnolls zombies, are dead. Yeah, I don't know what's going on since there's zombies. And there's a possibility that we could be dealing with a necromancer, a powerful hack woman, possible sorceress. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh dear. I mean, uh, like, I don't know how these memories work, but they should be what the god of death went through. These are his trials. So, I don't know where this stuff's coming from. So, I guess yeah, we'll just have to find out. Something else I'm curious about is I'm also assuming Death also built an entire house out of mud. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't think so. Like, all I know is he, he kills the hag, so that's what you're supposed to do. Oh, well. I guess if that's our only lead, let's go kill the hag. Alright. Uh, you see... Don slinking up here. I'm just gonna roll for the wall instead of rolling for you guys. Oh yeah, it's sturdy enough. Uh, you guys slink back and kind of roll. Who's? Uh, are you guys gonna let Don lead? Yeah, uh, sure. Can I lead with Don? And his current condition? No, I guess <laughs> Don can lead. All right. Uh, like I'll put Don and then you guys in the same order, like Jang right behind Don. Uh, Don throws his cigarette into the lava as you guys approach the door. And he looks at Jing, puts his finger on his mouth, shh, and then he takes a peek inside. And then he, I mean, he signals, he signals you to go forward, Jing. I guess I turn behind me, uh, to, I guess, who is, who's behind me? Hideki. Uh, Hideki, to, I turn to Hideki uh, and I make the same gesture to be quiet and I go forward. Okay. Alright, so you you enter the cavern? Or yeah. the volcano? Alright. Um it's it's getting hot in here. So but you oh. you guys are fine. I'm gonna need Mimi Dank to roll me a constitution saving throw. So he's used to <laughs> the code. He's not used to these temps. Oh, uh, Oh yeah, you're good. He got a 22 in the Constitution save. <laughs> All right, you guys get in the cavern and uh, you see some weird-looking tombstones in the cavern. It's like a stone room, uh, very dark. It's kind of, it's kind of dry. Like you see lava. Kind of, uh, kind of like dried lava. Sorry, uh, on the walls where it, like lava's like seep through a little bit, but then it's solidified. Uh, and you see four like tombstones. Uh, two on the right side of the room and two on the left side of the room, uh, facing toward you guys, toward the middle of the room. Yep. I haven't seen that before. And he uh, lights another cigarette. Whew. 
Uh, usually the hag's in here. Well, you know that's not. Um, I, can I whisper to, uh, can I whisper to Don, hey, why'd you tell us quiet? Uh, usually the hag's in here. He's just talking in a normal voice right now. Can Baloney Crisis do a perception check? Uh, yep. <sighs> this is a pretty long campaign. Pretty long session today. 14. Uh, you see, yeah, you see music notes on the uh, tombstones, uh, Baloney Crisis. Can um, Hideki go to the tombstones on the left? Uh, yep. Did you just say music notes on the tombstones? Yep, there's uh, music notes on the tombstone. It looks like a song is on the tombstone. Can Baloney even play that on a bagpipe? Are you sure that's... Baloney probably can, but he's a little guarded. Like, he doesn't want to set off another trap like the crumbling bridge from before. Yeah, he's cautious right now. What if I offered you some cigarettes? Are they vegan Don, cigarettes? Don looks uh, intrigued at single... I could try singing the notes. You hear Who Don? Who you see, Gabriel? Okay, you okay. Do, um, you would do none of the songs. If Baloney Crisis tries to play the notes, would he need to like roll uh, with the performance? Yep. Or performance. All right. Does anyone object to him no. trying that? Sure. Go ahead. Okay. What could go wrong? Yeah, Don's like, yep, you shoot see, for it. I got nothing. You see, Gabriel. In case something does. A D20? Yeah. Plus in, performance. In case something... Before you do that, you seek a belt in case something does. Does she have she proficiency? She, yeah, she, she does. It's performance. She has plus three in performance. No, but does she have proficiency in, ba uh, in bagpipes? Or no? Yeah. Yes, yes. So she get plus okay. five. So... Oh, I get right. plus five so, instead of plus three? Yeah. It's, what was Gavelt doing? Um, so uh, before she started, she said, before he started playing, before we even begin, sorry, I should do that. I make a reception check real quick to check the, check this area, like the perimeter to see, like, if there's, like, any entrance ways or anything to get in. Uh, there like is another entrance on the other side of the room where you guys enter, entered the volcano. Uh -huh. And, uh... You, you as you as you see that entrance you hear baloney start playing the bagpipes and as she does that's the only way that's the only way into this chamber by the way uh 16 uh yeah there's one entrance and then there's one hallway continuing uh as she plays weird lights he or he as he plays weird lights start to appear in the room and you see hands reaching out of the ground and like oh <laughs> grabbing the ground and coming up and zombies start breaking down dancing. You got four zombies and they're oh. dancing. Dancing. Yeah. They're <laughs> rocking out. Baloney for the love of God keep playing. I don't want to fight these. And uh, you hear, you hear uh, somebody like tapping uh, on the uh, other side of the room, where the other entrance is, and uh, like tap dance or as if. <laughs> and she's uh, it's it's a female figure comes through. Oh my! I haven't heard that in forever, and I love it. And uh, oh, attractive! How, how, uh, is this female figure like a slim female figure? Like, how does she look? <laughs> uh, she's very slim. Uh. She's got long, long white hair, and she's she looks like a human. Uh, seems to be, I'd say, like she looks around in her twenties. A uh, very fair face. Hmm. What kind of outfit she wearing? Uh, kind of outfit? She's wearing. It looks like a white dress. Like not a, not a wedding dress, but kind of like a. A like white, uh, long little like gown. Okay. 
The Vel just has eyebrows raised as soon as he saw her. Uh, Don, Don, like looks at Gavel. I don't know who that is, and then like slinks back. Uh, she's she's just kind of dancing with the zombies. Um, I guess he he goes where up the, and says hi. For the hell of it, I'll be dancing while he does that. Oh, so singles joining in in the dance. Or, uh, what, did, what did you say, Single? I said I'll be dancing for the hell of it. Okay, so Single's in... The, you see the gnome that looks like a dwarf just breaking down on the side. Uh, one of the zombies starts doing the worm. Uh, <laughs> oh my god! And, uh, what the hell is this Irish, Irish techno worm zombo shit? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Hideki, you approach the figure? Yes. Hold on, hold on. Let 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 the bard finish the song, please. And you cannot say anything, Hideki. Okay. Like he just uh, lost the ability to uh, walk. Yep. He cannot make noise. Uh, she casts silence on him. Well. Mimi grabs his paddle and starts rocking and uh, playing air guitar. Oh, okay. So you got <laughs> oh, no. I right, want you to... Well, not air guitar since he has the paddle. All right, so uh, single and Mimi, I need you guys to make me charisma uh, checks, please. By the way, did Gavel recognize this, Phil? Like, so they're making Arcana checks? Yeah, this no, no, you, you, knew, you know what she cast. Uh, Hideki okay, also sure. knows since he can't make any noise. <laughs> okay, so no. he does not look good. Yeah. Oh, no. sorry. So, <laughs> Mimi, <laughs> Mimi wrote a six, oh. and Single Nugget wrote a three. You know they're not very good at dancing, but I do like the spirit. Oh. Uh, she says, like, you guys is uh, baloney, I guess, finishes uh, the song oh written. And you see the oh. zombies just fall apart in the bones and fall back down. Just from the pure shame. Like, <laughs> yeah, well, just, like, just has this, like, just what, what, dot, 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 look, just, like, blinking his eyes, looking at <laughs> Baloney yeah. turns to the woman and asks what song that was. That is a song someone close to the god of death wrote. I need you guys to come this way with me. I've been looking for somebody that could play that song. And she walks into the hallway. Uh, the, or the, the exit way from that room. Like you guys entered in and the doorway across from it that's where she's walking uh does the party follow her uh if you guys look at dawn dawn just shrugs and says i guess it's all right yeah, well, yeah. so this at, isn't the old <laughs> hag you were talking about oh no she's way better looking baloney anyway, follows I, mean, I, she, not, not I follow her yeah, yeah I, follow, I, follow her. I follow too all right you guys follow that's where we'll end this session today you guys follow her and you all die you think about but you you <laughs> I mean, fall into a bee. pit of lava. You die. She can still be the hag. Just look young. Now after uh, the after after they're all kind of walking away. Before we can it seems highly convenient that uh, Tukin didn't mention their eye color. Yeah. But anyway, but her, I mean, hair, I her hair was white, not pink. Bleach exists. I really doubt they're human. Okay, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop we recording. All, we, uh, we thank all, you guys. Prince Earl just forced us all to just walk. I'm like, there was like no time, Mega Jack, that they all to walk. Like, <laughs> okay, I guess Gabriel walk. I guess Gabriel walk with them. Oh my god! Uh, thank you, you guys. <laughs> Again for uh, playing with me this week, and thank you guys for listening in. Um, we will be back to play another session Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern uh, next week. We're all gonna, we're all gonna die. We keep our complete just.